And don't forget to check out the website, www.earlshreds.com. Thanks. And this was where this, this was whenever I was at the University of Louisiana Lafayette. I was a strength coach there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's when I was a strength coach there. And that was something that the uh, was just one of the, the values in the entire university and the team. And, you know, we always, you know, there's always kind of things that can be used. But that was just one of them, one of many that I just kept with. That's awesome. And it's crazy to see, like, yet it clearly affected me. Or yeah. I wouldn't have said it or, you know, or... Got a tattoo Lit. of your neck. Yeah, 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 I did that. <laughs> but, um, hey, yeah. it's a great saying, honey. I say it. I no. yelled it in the gym the other day. Straight up. It, it's one of those things that you got to yell. Hold it's on. Usually I'm on sorry, the- everyone. I'm fixing Sydney's mic. Well, nice. And it's my bad. Hey, you're going to have to, when you talk, talk a little bit closer into it. Me too. Is that yes, no, board? you're great. You're good. Perfect. Sydney. It's just, I lean back. Like, yeah. I'm just chilling. Yeah. Oh, just, I can, you can lean back. Sorry, everybody. No, it's fine. Well, it's a, it's fine. But I want you to be hurt. I w- you don't want to waste your time. I'm never hurt on any of them, so. Yes, well, it's because you're talked over, honey. Whatever, we'll. Yeah. For the most part, I am. Sorry, Austin. This is, Did, y'all may have noticed we got new equipment and still working through the, the bugaboos. No apologies. Should have my glasses on. My glasses. My glasses. Hey, guys. Um. No, I guess no intro this time, but y'all... Oh, we, we went straight into it. Sorry. No, it was a good conversation. I can still... Do, can I do the clap? Is, yeah, do it. Just for old time's sake. Hey, everybody. <laughs> we got a special guest. No doubt, he is one of my old... Truly one of my oldest friends um, from the great town of Huffman, Texas. And I've known him for, I don't know, ever. I'm yeah. going to say literally... Home, homeroom class. Yeah. Had to have been. The street, the skateboarding True. in the streets <laughs> as a child. True. And um, I love him as a brother so much. And I was so excited when he responded back and said he was going to come on tonight. Um, and it's, you know, this is kind of why the, my whole vision of this podcast is just to hang out with my bros and have yeah. good. Like, a, you know, I'm not, I'm not like chasing the next artist. Where's a... Braylon, Raylan, Taylor. <laughs> hey, please call my label. Have your label call my label. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. This it, this is this podcast is for people who I find interesting and are also my friends. Am I your bro? Am you're I, my, you're am my I bro. interesting? You're my, no, but you are my bro. Oh, yeah. Damn. I mean, no, at least bro. I'm one of two. So. No, you're interesting. You're. Sure. I mean, that's why they say we're Sydney. We're, we're Sydney. Yeah. <laughs> Where's Cindy Shreds? Is she coming on the next one? <laughs> well, I mean, yeah. I think Austin yeah. was one of the first ones to like comment something on one of those videos or something he posted. What, that Cindy Shreds? Something about, yeah, it was a, I think it was I, a video I think or something. I'm a, I always support. I'm one of your yeah. biggest fans. Yeah. yeah. I wish I could remember what it was. And it was funny. Austin is one of um, my biggest fans, and I'm one of his biggest. We're We're yeah. each other's biggest fans. Um, not just in our, not just like our jobs or like a fan, just fans of each other, I think. In life. Oh, for sure. Like personally. Personally. Like yeah. Ambition. We have a lot of similar interests, obviously ambition. Yeah. Um, Austin, shout out. He let me stay in his um, vacation home when last, was it last year or this it year? It was in March. Yeah. March of this year. We played yeah. at Green Hall with GCD yeah. and Austin let me stay in his vacation home and it is beautiful um, and it was one of the best musical weekends I've ever had in my so entire life. So much fun. Oh, man, I love yeah. that. That's yeah. Dude, that's what that spot's yeah. for. I don't think I've told you, in a, or maybe even <laughs> ever, like how that weekend, because we were even supposed to go home that day, and I, yeah. you were like, it's cool if you stay, and I was like, I'm going to stay. Dude, I encouraged it. That's yeah. what that house is yeah. for. Like on all, I mean, you can yeah. just see how it's decorated. It's for music. It's for like... Just Texas country, yeah, even such, more. Such good vibes, bro. Yeah. Like, seriously, some of the best vibes. 
God, I was like recharged for months after that. I'm man. straight up, man. Like I'm literally, I'm leaving. I'll be there on, oh, on this Friday. Oh. Like I don't, you know, I'll, the people ask me like, well, I'm not working. I'm out of town. Nice. I'm going up there because like this weather's awesome, right? <laughs> yeah. I mean, up there, it's one of my favorite times to be there. Yeah, I You bet. know, because I'm just oh. in that. Chilling. Chilling, man. I love, going, I love going to the hill country during the winter. Me too. My it's mom's desolate, leaving right now. She's know? going to Junction. Yep. Yes. Yeah, all the college there. kids go back to Houston or Dallas. Dude, yes. <laughs> yeah. No, and then, yeah, you want to be up there where there's nobody. God, it's winters. Like, and then, I guess, like, the whole idea about hiking. Like, it's not, it's it's not, I don't think hiking there is fun when it's, like, a thousand degrees. No, it's, no, it's not. Unless you're, like, training for war. True. You know, but. Even I'm then, not, it's not going to be clearly fun. Clearly, I'm not. I'm, I'm fighting a cultural war. <laughs> <laughs> not, not a physical one, but. <laughs> I don't and, even think you said his name when you started to introduce him, and then he just kind of stopped. Or we just went into I the just next wanted to thing. Talk, yeah, <laughs> we see that. Well, that's how long good we. I mean, we we'll just do every five minutes. I'll do an intro. <laughs> Another one would be, What's going on, guys? I, I, I'll say. Welcome uh, back. Don't I just should say as a as a thirty <laughs> under flirty or. Flirty under 30, whatever. <laughs> flirty, flirty, <laughs> 30, and 30. Flirty and 30 tonight. But um, y'all, please check out the merchandise store and my social medias. The website is down <laughs> right now. I found out literally today the website was down. I've got it in. The channels have been entered. The people who have been called who need to be called is in process. <laughs> Send out the troops. I'm telling you right now, because some of you motherfuckers are going to come on this bitch. And be like, but Dalton's website doesn't work. <laughs> I'll say it. I'm not embarrassed. I get literally trillions of clicks every day. <laughs> Joe Biden was on it. The other. Yeah, he yeah, clicked in on the live. I was, like, yeah. you was with you. I have it set up to where if you, <laughs> if you misspell one letter in Pornhub, it automatically... Instead goes to my website. <laughs> <laughs> <Nice>. That's <laughs> Clever. brilliant marketing. Clever. That is brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the, the, the on site time on average is not very long. But, but still, <laughs> I mean, as long as they get a second on that. That one second yeah. is all that matters. But some dudes be looking at one of my photos for a long time. Oh, God. <laughs> It's all about how you title the pictures. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, they're doing it to the the stock models I use for my mock images. It's a dog most of the time. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, they are from Upman. Most of them are from Upman. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Dogs. Yeah. <laughs> bark, bark. We got Toby Shreds here today. Always. Yeah, it's awesome. To, thank you so much for coming, Austin. This is awesome. Dude, it's my pleasure, man. Um, AP in the house. AP. We, we, I was thinking about getting one of those button deals. Bam, 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 that has sounds. Yeah, 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 yeah. I would have, bam, bam. Dude, th you would have been on that. Dude, yeah. <laughs> I, if I had more time, I'd get it. I got to get them ready. I gotta, you need to. You need yeah. to. For I got, sure. I got one of riffraff that says... Uh, Trapaholics, <laughs> Trapaholics beats. Dude, what? That would be sick. And dude, any of them, or like even like a Stone Cold, like a psh, just oh, yeah. all of those. Or Stone Cold Steve Austin. Yeah, that's, what, no, that's about, what he's talking yeah, about. I'm talking about like the glass breaking. The oh, psh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you can. Da, na, na, na. <laughs> oh, I could be adding that on post. I'm going to add it to yours. I, get, <laughs> I bet. I guess I just really I haven't had anybody on that's deserving of the Stone, the stone, <laughs> yeah. the stone Cold treatment. Yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah. We, well, I mean, <laughs> I mean, you're you know, I I usually have um, artists, and you know how they can be. On, you know, you're uh, an yeah, artist, yeah. Like I'm an. You're. A, <laughs> he is an artist, yeah. And his he's own an craft. artist with an A. He's a hardest, a hard <laughs> artist like yes, me. That's, yes, I just came I up like with it. that. It's I'm a hard, hard artist. My. That'll be on a T-shirt tomorrow, <laughs> and it might be the title. But what do you all think? T-shirt. T-shirt. I'm going to put that up. Yeah. When this podcast comes out, I'm putting it up. And, and it put like the little like adjective or noun or whatever underneath it. So it's like the Webster Dictionary yeah. version of hardest. Hardest. And we'll, we'll do, but we'll, we got to do it limited. Yeah, it can be limited. Yeah. yeah just like, yeah, then make it It's got collective. to do with you for this podcast. For sure. I'll come that up way, with it. That way, how much I promote it, we'll see how yeah. much actually Ooh. fans we can get to buy. Yeah, dude. And it'll be, yeah, that'd be a great collab. And Honestly, Austin, you look—it's nice to if we make a collab 
like merch with Austin, he, you're a handsome guy. You know, you yeah, could, appreciate it. you know, like an ugly motherfucker like me, I'm trying to <laughs> fashion some, uh, some fucking with nice your apparel. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. no, you got it. Yeah. But we'll do like a, like, um, like choker. <laughs> What? Oh. I was thinking some leggings, wow. like, some like, leggings. A, like a grease sweats. Ooh, hard. Ooh, on both legs, hard artist. Uh. Sure. I'm sorry, guys. Yes, I feel so bad. The podcast yesterday, my notifications kept going off because we were having NASA was calling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so there was an asteroid on the way, and, it but did. I told him it wouldn't hit. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's all good, guys. I got it covered. Phone was blowing up. <laughs> hey, I am trying to get somebody that works at NASA. I'm not going to shout his name out because there's confidentiality things, but it's not for sure. But I want to get him on. Yeah, it'd be dope. Yeah, I mean, because <laughs> but I know NASA is going to be like. Okay, well, we got to see the brand, and the first thing they're going to see with me is like <laughs> a banana shreds. Yeah, it's going to be a banana Gosh. with a guitar, and they're like, absolutely I was, not. I was at January sixth. Oh, <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> maybe, maybe this is not a right fit for, uh, for NASA. <laughs> no, probably not. <laughs> NASA's not real. The moon is the not moon. real. The moon. I don't know. They just sent something. You follow them on your social media, actually. The moon the is moon? not real. NASA. Oh, I, oh, I thought you meant, I follow yeah. the moon. Oh, no, nice. On Twitter. No, I follow them. <laughs> I don't, I've seen those as well. Yeah. Yeah, those are great. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> you know, I, follow, I follow the real Gandhi, too. No, the really? real one. Yeah, on Instagram. <laughs> no, I, I, I follow the baby. Do you? Oh, do you? Oh, absolutely. Uh, and 20, I think I do, too. I don't follow 21. 21. Follow me back, 21. What do you think about 21. Um, do you think? I mean, yeah, I de- it's just yeah, a I flow. Wanna... His flow, is, it's the same to me, though. It's... Hey, what? I got to tell you a quick story real quick since you brought it up. I posted a video of me. I don't know if it was, I think it was deadlifting. And it was the 21 and Drake song. Mm-hmm. That song I was just saying. Yeah. And my mom Video's commented man. on it and said, you couldn't have picked a better song. <laughs> Oh my God! <laughs> That's my favorite song. Lori, stop! I said it. actually, I put it as a joke. Yeah, <laughs> no, it was a like joke. Lori, it really was. Stop. Like, do your thing, twenty one. Yeah, do your thing, twenty one. Yeah, the little, yeah. the little gay looking hey, Drake whoa. did. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Do your thing, twenty one. I don't. I still don't get that line. Yeah, I don't either. Know. But no, that was my next. What, what, what do you think about the new Drake album? Man. <laughs> I mean, it's just not my cup of tea. I mean, it's not That's something. What everyone's been they, saying, and you know, bro. But, you know, Drake's, for instance, I feel like in a lot of his albums, you'll listen to it and you won't like any of the songs. And then a couple of weeks later, you might go by and you might pick one or two that you do yeah, like. Until you're at the club. Yeah, <laughs> yeah and she, they 30, just wear it out 30, on you. And 30 then, rat, yeah. 30 before, rat is going, hey. Straight up. Yeah. You're still going to learn the words of the song. Yeah. <laughs> I, I literally know that song because it just that part and those funny TikToks. Yeah, in TikTok, right? Yeah. I mean, do you hear that? They use them as the same trendy songs and all those, yeah. you know, to so be. 30 seconds, like, I know that 30 seconds. Literally. <laughs> I took my shoes off and my feet stink. I'm sorry. I'm kind of smelling smell them. Okay, but smell. if you get a whiff, you can take your shoes off if you want. Sorry, is it it's okay if I weird. do? Is no, that weird to you? No, it's not weird at all. This is your, this is your. Yeah, no. It's just a comfortable I mean, spot. I would, but if I. I I'm messing up my 30, sin. It feels like it's 30 degrees outside, so I'm going to. No, you do it every. Yeah. I have my house shoes on, so. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Do your thing. <laughs> do your thing, Sid. <laughs> do your thing. Yeah, this first dude I see rolling up. He's got the windows down, and I'm hearing that song. You're done. <laughs> You're done. Gone, bro. <laughs> I heard AP when he pulled up in his van. I was probably was banging jamming. some shit, but I don't know what it was. <laughs> it, nah, I bang it too. Fuck it. With nah, the windows, I was with the windows get, up, though. I had, yeah, it'd be fuck, it's 30 degrees outside. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, Let's it's be real, guys. <laughs> 21. Yeah, but still. It, I heard a lot of uh, whack shit. Everybody's been saying, um, I guess. Marcus didn't really, um, he didn't like it because 21 was on the album. Was yeah, it? really. And I've heard that a lot. Like, a lot, there's a lot of people that are not like a fan of Drake. Like, why is Drake associating with 21? Yeah. Which I didn't, I love 21. I didn't know. Yeah, I mean, dude, they're all artists and they're all just trying to, be, you know, I mean, they're, they just have their own style. Oh, you yeah. Know? So, I, I mean, got they're just one, trying two, to. Three, <laughs> I know. mean, yeah, like all the t- 21 stuff, you know, his music is 21. That's why it's 21. just like 
21. Like, that's 21. why I think it was a lot of, like, their own, they had their own star power, and then they just kind of did it to yeah. do it. Just I mean, to collab. Yeah, to collab. To collab, just yeah. like we talk about collabing, just to have it, make it fun. I bet they had a lot of fun. Absolutely. Oh, I mean, yeah. Do your no. 21. Oh, yeah. They were, they were, they were, <laughs> that's what we're going to call it. They were in the studio. <laughs> they had too much fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can God. see. I'm, I'm, to be a fly on the wall at that session, wow! Yeah, I think they like, had you just too see much the fun. producer. You're just like, he said, "Do your thing." Yeah, do your thing. Twenty one. He's like, "We're fucking up to you so bad with this <laughs> shit." Yeah, I'm like, I'm paid. yeah, fuck it. <laughs> hey, you want to fly commercial? Or you want to go on fucking PJ? <laughs> yeah, literally. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Do your thing. You want to change? <laughs> yeah, <whatever. laughs> you want to fucking drive home or no? Yeah. <laughs> I don't have a car. It's mine. You signed exactly. It. It's, <laughs> yeah, they get it. I guess Drake gets it. Uh, the the new Lil Yachty. I don't even know if it's a song, but the Poland song. I haven't heard it. It, it blew up on TikTok, and he literally it was just he didn't, it wasn't even a song. It's a clip. Oh yeah, it's just like a chorus. Yeah. I believe it. And he even said he was like, I just and somebody leaked it, like stole it off the hard drive. Yeah, yeah. You and know what it, the number one TikTok song is right now? Like. Highest of all time, number one song. What? Lollipop by Lil Wayne. Still. Yeah. Whoa. Still. Man, so I. That's, <laughs> what? Yeah, I saw that just while I go. Dude, I love probably you. bang that shit in China. <laughs> I, I, I bang it here. Wee 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 wee. Or Hello Kitty Lollipop. Yeah, straight up. Straight up. It's, yeah, China's just now finding like my wheezy. That's not China, on TikTok. That's you seem on wee- TikTok. Yeah. Oh, I love Lil Wheezy. Um, I, I, I follow, love Lil Wheezy. I follow, so, so follow this grandma on TikTok, and like that's, she only uses Olipop on her videos. Really? Yeah, all of her videos. Like, how do I just, turn it off? So you, you later. <laughs> no, she's You like, just literally scroll down, and it's just... It's, it's yeah. Just repeating. The, 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 TikTok <laughs> is the Wild West. It is. You <laughs> never know where you're going to end up. And it's funny. It's, really, bad, it's yeah. really funny, the... Like artists and content creators on platforms, they've they're like, like, uh, they're like tribed up now. Like you got the dudes that got their Facebook following fifteen years ago, mm-hmm. so they're all they're the Facebook, and then you got the Instagram dudes that got their Instagram following when it was big ten years ago. Yep. And they're like hating on the TikTok dudes. I'm one of them. That's how I know this. Yeah. And they're like, ooh. You, like, you know, they, they, someone looked down on me that I'm, like, on TikTok the most, you know? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been posting on Vine a it's, lot. It's, so. t- dude, it might make a comeback. <laughs> yeah. Just Pinterest. Dude, yeah. Vine. Hey, I Pinterest. If Vine wouldn't have shut down, it would be what to, it would be Vine, the, yeah. Yeah. yeah, Vine was, they, they was, literally just same stole thing, it. thing, yeah. Dude, that would, yeah, literally. Yeah, before it was TikTok, it. it was Musically. Yeah, and that's why people are like, well, it's owned by China. I'm like, Psst. I guess they're smarter than us. Yeah, seriously. Yeah. I mean, they, better, I mean, they made a better product. Yeah, they, they, they did. They're collecting your data. So is fucking Facebook. So is everybody. Yeah, and I, I don't, I really don't mind if somebody four thousand miles away has my info. No, but if you're two hundred miles away and you got my info, that's a problem. Well, it's the technology, yeah. right? It's like, um, you know, we ask ourselves, or people probably get on the topic all the time. About like, oh, these phones, they're, they're hearing what we're saying because that's how we see those oh, advertisements yeah. come across like our Facebook and Instagram. And people are like, they, when we say this, it's like, is that really true or no? And it's like, I'll be here to tell you. So like with some of my clients and the NFL and things like that, they literally had a, a, some, a meeting with a company and it was one of those, I don't know, I can't tell you the name of it, but apparently it was a company that, you know, was with um you know, the same ones that, you know, in Fort Worth that uh, Boeing and they, you know, build all those things. And they do, they work with Apple to basically um, to utilize this tool. And, and it is a hearing, you know, camera that. that is that they well, use. Flying around? No, no, no. Like in on the phone. on the phone. Oh. Like they are a part of that, that company to build that technology to partners with Apple to do that. And they have told the athletes literally for the protection in them, in them. Uh, to turn your phones the exact opposite way I'm not doing right now. Yeah, they're listening. So I, you, I always put mine. Yeah, so out. you don't actually, so you don't have that that ear, be, you know, hearing signal that's coming crazy. across. So yeah, and it's so now that I, that's been told to me, and like you know, and from them. So I mean, it's something that I just 
I don't know. I totally I would believe clearly that, believe it. I mean, yeah. I don't know why else they would get the meeting with the NFL about that. Yeah. And they do that. They definitely do no that. No doubt. And, and we can sit here and talk about, like, a, a new pan that you cook your eggs in, and I 30 want, minutes later, you're on your yeah, Facebook, and, oh, I look, want, there's a new pan, a oh, yeah. stick pan. Hey, yeah. You know what? People who complain about that, though, let me take you back to— before the internet, you had to read a fucking magazine or to see what you wanted. To even hear about Think it. about how fucking QVC. And most of y'all motherfuckers yeah. are not interesting. So they're probably not, they stopped <laughs> listening a long time ago. But think about how nice it is. You want something, you get the best deal sent to you. You just have to read the fucking yellow pages. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. that's why we're that, so I, lazy. I, me, no doubt. Oh, no it's doubt. It's kind of out of control. Yeah. Yeah. I, really like, I like them listening to me because I'm like, <laughs> I well, love that they listen yeah, to me. Welcome to the welcome. I'm glad somebody listens to me. <laughs> welcome yeah. to the world. Welcome to yeah. the inside. You don't have like, to go anywhere. Yeah, no. <laughs> no. You, let's get a taste of reality. Let's, yeah, yeah. You know, there's some fucking Chinese nerd going. Oh my god! Like I'm here, <laughs> dude, motherfuckers in Texas are <laughs> different, a little different. <laughs> I don't. Yeah, I, I just. Can yeah, I, they're crazy. And I volunteer to be one of those people that sits behind the computer and just listens all day. Like, let me let me see yeah. what this person's talking about right now. Yeah, you look like a Chinaman. Oh. You look like a communist. <laughs> <laughs> Stand up right now and just start saying a manner you're just... No, don't do it. Come on, not here. Sorry. Dude. I'm about to do it. <laughs> She's not doing it. Sorry. Her she loves sausage. <laughs> she loves smoked sausage. <laughs> we've, been, we've been watching a lot of World War II documentaries. <laughs> I love my bratwurst dude, and they... sauerkraut and I want, I want to go over there. I like to Germany. Me I, too. I want to go so bad. And they just played an NFL game there. They're all like, they had a few games Dude, it was there. big. Yeah, they start. Dude, did you hear about it? They started uh, chanting uh, uh, "Country Road." They were singing it, and all everyone <laughs> oh, in the uh, stands. The John Denver song. Yes, oh, yes, like every, yes. And it was like <laughs> in soccer culture. It was like they were just belligerent, and they were just yelling that. It was amazing. Yeah, NFL is a perfect. For in for their environment. Wait, they had an NFL game over there. I know, like yeah. the World they're Cup's to, happening yeah. right now. No, yeah. they're trying to get into Europe. No, they yeah they they're 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 multiple oh. games. They had a game in Mexico City just now. Yeah, they had the Seahawks played over there yeah. in Germany. The NFL's You're been right, trying right. to get in Europe for a long time. And I heard they are. I heard they're going to have like a six to eight team well, it, division. It, well, I think cool. they said it didn't stick. But, it? but it I just think uh, what's the soccer league? They're called. What's the acronym? FIFA. FIFA. I guess yeah, FIFA. Yeah, they run that shit. Yeah, mafia style. Oh, that's, yeah. yeah, that's why. Well, I mean, yeah, the cartel owned like Mexico soccer team for like the longest time or something like yeah, that. Yeah, it was that. Marco, so it was pretty nice. Oh, my company, like they, it's like a. Oh, we had some Dutch people fly in the, for my company, and they literally sat in the conference room all day just watching the World Cup. Like they just like canceled all their meetings because the World Cup. Yeah, was it's the like, same. They, they're going to watch soccer. Yeah, no that's all what. owned by like. I you miss know, that like, passion though, because they're like, I love it. You yeah, know, it's, it's. I feel like it's lost in a lot of American sports now. Yes. They're so caught up in the uh, commercials. The, <laughs> yeah, or Half-time just the, yeah, no, or they just lost more them. about the fame, really, and just yes. about the outfits and who's there and what they look that's, like. Not, not that's so why much. they lost me as a fan. I used to watch the NFL, but I don't anymore because they lost me long. Yeah, yeah, they just don't. You know, they don't make it as fun. You know, and but, I, well, I think in Europe and or wherever, I guess I think I just. They don't like they don't let you just run ads unlimited whatever you want there. Yeah. Like they have like but like I think that's like with the NFL it's like there's no rules on what how much and what you can advertise. Yeah. I'm not yeah, I'm unsure how all that works. But yeah, I mean, they, it's, it's all about the experience though, right? I think so. it's so monetized now. Yeah, like, alive. You sure. see like what Verlander is getting offered like Oh yeah. It's what? like Oh, it's like Five hundred million dollars. Yeah, it's up. There. Yeah, there's mostly Mike Trout and all those. Yeah, there's yeah. like up four hundreds <laughs> and yeah, even quarterbacks of five hundred million dollars. What do you do with that? I'd like money? to see. I'd like to see how yeah. much of that becomes realized, though. Because what? How many years is that? I mean, it might be in like six to eight, maybe a year contract. Yeah. Yeah. I'd like to see at the end of six years how much after. Well, in baseball is different. Their longevity is crazy. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, like the pension style? Like, well, just in their bodies hold up. Yeah, I was about to say, I mean? there's like old it's, farts in baseball. For sure. They don't have to be the health. Like, they didn't, oh, like, like, what, yeah, didn't, you're not getting like hit. Didn't yeah. Bagwell stay on until he's like in his 40s or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah if they can be. Any yeah. non-con, dude, golf, that yeah. would be, if you could, I think, if you could be pro golf, you've, 
you've made life. And that's your yeah. sport. Yeah. That's yeah. your sport. Yeah. You cause I mean, you don't have you don't really have to condition. Because mm. baseball, you still you gotta condition your brain, that's for sure. Oh, yeah. and golf? Yeah, yes. no doubt. I'm yeah, my brain is way more conditioned than my body. <laughs> baseball, you still gotta you still gotta be in shape, very in shape. Uh, well, not if I mean, you John not Daly if, smokes not, cigarettes. That's and, what I'm saying. Yeah, like, I drinking can, beer. Not if you have a designated runner for you. I mean, yeah. Like I'm just gonna go up there and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna On, in golf. No. Oh, uh, it, uh, oh, in baseball. Yeah, in golf. I run in golf. I was like, yeah. Why are you running on the golf course? <laughs> you know, what I feel like people almost don't talk about enough is basketball, and like that's the hardest one to find people for. Think about it. They're already like. They're massive human beings, but you don't find them any like at mm -hmm. all. You don't see that many of them ever. And it's like the team is only of like 15 to yeah, make they, that they get paid insane. a shitload though, too. I mean, they get they all do, and you have to well, that's I, pretty but, strenuous on your body, of like course, all the jumping and things yeah. like that. Maybe being got, that tall yeah, and yeah, with their tore limbs. my knees up, and I'm pretty yeah, tall. your ankles would be, yeah, my ankles are, off, right? uh, and that's how back Marcus, yeah. uh, we had a uh, Y'all check out the Live From Mars podcast. We had Marcus from the Live From Mars, and he just, this year, what did he, he tore his Achilles? Achilles. Mm, that's tough. Yeah, yeah he's in a That hurts. That hurts. He wasn't even, yeah, he wasn't even like. Do that one. That's in, yeah, he wasn't even jumping or anything. He was literally just like in a triple threat position or something. Guy come up guarding him, and he like jab faked and like dude, tried to cross him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just just, done. Dude, just just snapped it, and he yeah. made me feel like a hoe too, because I should have checked up. Now, I'm Marcus, I'm sorry I didn't check on you. I did, but I told yeah, I know, but I told him I was like, I just I knew you'd make it through it, because he looks great now. He's in shape. Yeah, like well, yeah, you he's know. not a hundred, but he's no, I don't getting think he's there. Playing, I don't think he's playing basketball again, but he looks great. He looks better than me, and I'm, well, that's I felt bad. I'm glad he got through it. I mean, yeah, he, people bounce back. I mean, right? Yeah, yeah, he just did a podcast last Friday about. Uh, the World Series, and he does. He's he's mostly sports. Like nice. He doesn't really do a lot of musicians. <laughs> I don't even know why. We well, you know. I got on hit. Yeah, you know, I guess he was just like interested in. He's you. like me. Yeah, he was just like some like cool guy. I guess. Yeah, just yeah. hang out. Be he, on. He's gonna come back stronger. Like, cause you can probably speak to this too. Like, we were talking the other day in my workout group, which is basically my five best friends. Um, one girl like took like a month off. She was like, God, it's going to take me twice as long to get back. I was like, actually, it's going to take you half the time to get back to where you were. Yeah. Like, yeah. I mean, your body needs to rest. And people think, oh, I took a month off, so it's going to take me two months to get back to my strength. Now it's going to take you two weeks to get back. Like, you know, you didn't lose that much no. muscle in that much time. No, like, I'm exactly. sure his, at, like, the atrophy was probably... Yeah, yeah, six because, months is a long time. Yeah, and I mean, like, he could not even use that leg, but, yeah. but he's going to come he, back stronger he, mentally, he's gonna too. He's got a third leg, so no, don't worry. No doubt, right? And that's, yeah. that's something that it's almost like, you know, I, I tore my ACL. You know, I broke my back, but my ACL was my longest one, right? Because yeah. that recovery process is like six to 12 months. And, you know, the where you are mentally in that position, I mean, if you're athletes and you can't oh, run yeah. anymore, then you, that's the way, that's a quick way to depress you. Yeah. Not, not, you can face oh, other yeah. adversities, but in mentally, you know, being an athlete, but not being, not being able to do those things are what really get your head all. That's and, what you Marcus know, was talking about. And so, you know, that that's, is something you have to endure, learn, go through and build on. And there's no doubt you do become stronger of yeah. an individual from going through those, but that's, you know, after the fact. So, yeah. but like, you're exactly right. But, and so I know that's going to, you know, sorry, I'm not just like, no. you, I just finish my, that's why I know it's yeah, going to happen in people when they get injured. So I'm almost like excited for them. Not because yeah. that was the, one of the hardest things that I've ever had to go through. But like what I learned about myself from that process has made me who I am. And so I'm like, it's almost excited when, Sometimes when I know it's bad, it happens, but they're going to have to get through it and they're going to be better once it's they are. Do you, ever have anybody, do you ever have anybody just give up? Oh man, I've had too many that want to. So then what happened? That's the but saddest. Like, that's, yeah. That's, but, that's what. Well, it's a, it's a mental battle. Like, yeah. Well, I mean, it, man. Yeah. I've had, I had a situation just this past year, actually, you know, I was getting this, um, this athlete ready for the NFL draft and he had, uh, he had tore his ACL, uh, his senior football game. You know, he played for, 
you know, one of, you know, the University of Texas, actually. And, oh, wow. and um, he, he was a senior, a five-year starter. And uh, the only games they lost that year were the ones that he got hurt, the last four games that he were out. Oh, that's a lot of demons right, right? there. And so yeah. he possessed a huge, you know, he was an asset to that team, there's no yeah. doubt. And he was highly recruited for the NFL and things like that. But, you know, we had to build it, get his knee properly you know, ready for the NFL. Yeah. And that's what we focused on. And we had a short time frame to do it. However, we still did. He still showed, you know, went to his interview and showed out, produce, showed that he could do it. However, he got there and did all that and got to that point. However, there are teams that still won't take him because that happened. And that since that happened, that, that is still a liability. Because they're afraid yeah. it's going to happen it's again or it's the injury. to happen again. Yeah. And there is a whole other side of this that we're talking about. You're getting stronger mentally. But physically, you could get too strong on one side and you're actually injured. Yeah, a lot of people knee. get hurt that way. And yeah, so like you almost have to really understand. A lot of fighters get hurt that way. Exactly. And so, in the shoulders, one shoulder or one leg. And so then, you, then he's a... Uh, so, yeah, how do you tell them to keep training after that, right? Once they yeah. get cut and you're, they're still hoping to get picked up by another team, but they just got shot down because of what unfortunately happened. But I just yeah, rebuilt it. But it. Yeah, but I can't control this. So how do I get what, you know? And so that's to where you just have to tell someone it's still your body and you got to take care of yourself. Yeah. Right. And so, and you still got a brain. Yeah. Yeah. So you exactly. only have one body. So yeah. that's yeah, exactly. your last resort. You no, got to yeah. take care of your brain. I mean, the NFL can stand for not for long. You know, I mean, that's yeah. oh, people God. need to understand that as well. That's devastating though. No, I mean, yeah, but those are just, you know, that's just some kind of situations and I'm, that happens yeah. every year. You oh, know, I by believe multiple. it. Yeah. That's, you know, oh, that's the majority. Yeah. That's the, I mean, that's how do you the get one percent? That's yeah, the real I, life of, if you want to play in the NFL, that's, yeah, I mean, you're you sacrificing better, you probably, your body. I think, yeah, you should expect that result. Cause that doesn't happen. That happens to most people. Yeah, right. They get hurt and cut. It's almost trying to be a fighter and not getting knocked out. You know, yeah. I mean, there's still going to be some type of thing that you might, you know, endure like a concussion. Like we go, we go into that yeah, game. Well, that's we're going to get it. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that's what makes all the badass fighters is the. I mean, for especially a lot, I, I don't. A fighter loses some of them. That's real, devs. Well, Especially if the knockout was fucking bad, mm -hmm. like that. Just what it'll do to them. Yeah, that'll yeah. that'll fuck them up mentally. But the the most badass motherfuckers are the ones that come back. Yeah. Especially if they rematch the same dude, and sure. uh, I guess learn. I guess. I, but I don't really, the NFL you have to do, it's a team thing. So it's up to the fucking overlords. Yeah, right. The good it's thing about fighting stuff. is it's like, you can 100% you your will. Yeah. Like, if you're willing to come through it, you can, you can control you can the, get the fight. Yeah, yeah, if you can get the fight, it's up to you. But on, that's where, that NFL is a tough game, dude. Cause yeah, you know. You're, it's just like, it, it's a lot like being a fucking fighter pilot. That's what they used to say when I looked into what that was take and it's like hey the like one zero zero one percent get picked like you're just ex you need to accept that you're, you're not going to get it yeah that but, it doesn't happen to majority well even sure. like everyday people like i wasn't training for a specific like anything except for myself a couple years ago and i was like at the best i've ever been and i was uh doing dips and literally sam was like all right Last rep, let's go. She always says, "Last rep, best rep." Nice. Or you know, yeah. I've heard that. So she says, "All right, last rep, best rep, or last set." We usually say, "Last set, best set." But I wish anyways, you see that on a t-shirt, Sam. Last, she has one. That's it'll be that. tough fire stamp. Does she, <laughs> yeah, does she have them for sale? Anyways, <laughs> better, better gym. Anyways, we'll sell better gym. I'm just um, so I did my last dip, and on my way up, like pop, there goes like. My chest, the like my pec, yeah, Ooh. chest muscle pops, yeah. and so like I was, I was at like my best. I was doing, I was working out like six days a week, running, and then the next day I dropped the volleyball uh, pole. Mm. I was setting up the volleyball net at work, dropped the pole and cracked my sternum, and so it was like boom, boom, two days in a row, and that like really mm. put me in a dark spot. I couldn't even like pick up a drink or like carry my backpack yeah. when I was coaching. Um, 
But yeah, and like I would like refuse to do dips or like even just tricep pulls, like anything on my chest just is just traumatizing. Yeah, 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 just PTSD. Yeah, I mean that is that's you know that's the last thing. I, yeah, I, I, and I, I wasn't talking about go put this in the kitchen. It's leaking. My oh beer. gosh. Sorry, everyone. My beer's leaking. <laughs> oh, you don't drink it fast enough. Oh God, how are you gonna do this? <laughs> oh. Anyway, mobility. I was in a pretty bad spot, and I came back and. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Anyways, the then like my peak was like last year when I was doing CrossFit and I was that's the like most in shape I've ever been. Again, working out, I was doing CrossFit six days a week, running like six miles a day. Um, and then Dalton and I get COVID and mm. like I just stop cold turkey. Yeah. And like I'm still in the process of getting back. And I feel like I'm finally back in a groove, but like that's been a year or so, and that was like probably the hardest thing for me. Yeah. And I'm like I said, I wasn't training for anything specific except for my own health and mental health, and just because I wanted to. So I can't even imagine like having a goal set to you know be in the NFL or like that's yeah. your whole life. And, I mean, that was my whole life at one time too with volleyball and basketball, but like I yeah. can't even imagine. Exactly, and you know, and that's it's. You know, I, you, I feel it. You know, you feel it in them. And you understand, you have to be the one, you understand their situation. And you, but at, at the same time, it's like, at what point it's, you're, it's still a privilege to even get as far yeah. and as do what you would do, period. You know, like you have to be grateful for that and just be excited that you had the opportunity yeah. and wear that in your heart. And so that you can really just mm -hmm. move forward you know, in what it is that you're going to do. You yeah. know what I mean? Like there's a bigger, clearly there's a bigger purpose for you then. It's exactly. not this, but it can be something else. So, you know what yeah, I mean? But look I mean, what, like, look what you got to, like, look what you've achieved already getting right, to this point. Right. You know, I, ne I never, you know, I played college ball, you know, U of H, go Cougs, but I didn't, I didn't make it to the NFL. You know, I never, I never got the NFL combine invite, but I've, I brought an athlete to the NFL Combine. I got to go to the NFL Combine. It, you know, but, and you play college trained, ball. A lot of people can't even say can't that. Can't even say that, right? So, yeah. yes, I did fall short of my dreams. But I've, in the last six years, I've had had over 40 guys see that same yeah. dream. Yeah, and so me, you brought it back tenfold. That full fulfillment that I have with that, like, that's why, that's why when people, it's not a job to me. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's where, you know, so that's why also, at the same time, I feel like my expectations on the way I act in that environment is the way it is because mm -hmm. it's just true and real. And yeah. you can't you can't get to that level being fake and not being real and not being yeah, who not you being are. Passionate. They'll be, they'll be real who you are. Yeah, they are real with you. They are hard. They, well, they yeah, are monsters. They, they make a lot of money. Yeah, I mean, well, they're, they're making. No, if you're bad. not if you're not passionate about what you're doing, trying to help them, then why should they be passionate about doing it? Exactly. You know, like if. Like, oh, as a if trainer, you were training yeah. me, if, like, Sam's very passionate about it. If she was just telling me, hey, go squat. Oh, you need to go lower. Like, that's not motivating to me. Like, you've got to love what you do so I can love doing it. Yeah. You yeah, know? I can't. I cannot help people that are not self-motivated. I can barely help people. But, yeah. It's, hold on, just run it, run it back a little bit, dude. Come on, it stinks. It smells like a foot in here. Well, that's not my fault. That's your fault. What's wrong with it? Because it gives me a headache. Can you blow that candle out? Yeah, I'll blow it out. Sorry. Sorry, guys. We have things. Oh, I like that. No, don't cover it. I love the after candle smell, dude. It's I did so too, man. That's why I was so excited to jump up and blow it out. Let me blow it out. Oh. Mm. Does it smell good? It's so soothing. It's so soothing to me. Man, just dude, I was going to say before I went to the bathroom, I've kind of stopped... Uh, like working out or like doing any kind of sports because the thought of getting hurt and not being able to play a show is it makes me it's not worth it it makes it me depressed that's kind of why i stopped doing jujitsu like oh, yeah. get it understood i was that's like one of the first dude. things he told me he was worried about his fingers yeah and really I, and i, I kind of laughed at him but then i was like that literally that's what is I made my money with yeah that's, and they'll grab them they love your to talent go. is right here yeah they love Straight to go up. for your hands and yeah i just the thought I, even if like 
I don't like if I was I had a gig at Labella's and I got hurt and I couldn't play, I'd still be devastated not to play Labella's. Straight you know? up, no, I get that. I it mean, just that sucks. Yeah, I I agree one thousand percent. And I don't have in the my money. Job, I hurt my fingers. Yeah, you know, like I, I broke this one and it even I holds me it. back. I know this one dislocated a few weeks ago. It holds me back from playing the guitar. Yeah. You know, and I, I love music. You know, it's not my yeah. job or career, but it's obviously one of my hobbies. It's and a passion. passion. Yeah. And so if like I know if that if I'm not doing that. You know, then something in my life, well, there was, something's not right. There was I can't one, do it. The yeah. last time I went to jujitsu, I um, went, and this dude put me in a Kimura and almost tore, I mean, he was in a Kimura. It was like a leg lock or something. But yeah. he, oh, yeah, it was a Kimura, and he almost, dude, and he was, like, young, and the kids, they're, like, just so fucking, um, puberty up mm -hmm. like you know like yeah. 18 year old boy like 20 yeah. year old boy like, hormones I'm, running through. hormones Literally. like and they're in the gym like like taking their girlfriend dumping them out on me yeah and they're killers and this <laughs> and motherfucker hit killers. it some of them they'll hit the they'll hit the uh tap too fast for me to even tap yeah and i luckily i got it real quick and it got me and Dude, my elbow was, and I had a show that night. It was like right before a show. I was like, I'm gonna go to the gym. And that night, I'm like, this. I'm like, dude, I can't do this. I, I just, and it was a horrible show. Like, I, I wasn't able to do like the stuff that people expect me to do. Yeah. It sucked. And I, but it could be, I just don't have the money for a private trainer. It could be, yeah. I could totally train with. Yeah, you do. Yeah. Yeah. I just gotta get you on my online program. Yeah. Oh, arm, yeah. I saw coaching. you have like that. Christmas deal online, going probably. on, that holiday oh, thing. Yeah. I saw that today. What do you got yeah, online? I almost forgot about that. Uh, but uh, let's, I did, <laughs> bro, I'm, I don't think I was, I was like, I hope you don't think I was trying to do anything. I did a horrible job introducing you. I just, no, and dude, honestly, I think I'm going to It's too hard to introduce me. I can't even introduce myself. That's what I was How thinking. How do you introduce such greatness? Yeah, <laughs> I, was, I was like, I can't introduce my homies. Just, But yeah. I think I'm, I want to, it's just some, uh, with a musician, I guess there's like the, Da -da. You know, but I think I'm. Are I'm probably you downplaying gonna, Austin right now? No, no. I'm just. I think <laughs> That's I'm the vibe I'm getting. I, yeah. I don't want to keep doing the. Wow. Hey, it's, yeah, you don't have yeah, to. Yeah, you don't have to. I, well, I'll do it for like a big artist, but my home. This is my homie, but he he lives in a different world than I do. But I, I I'm, I'm sure. sorry I didn't introduce. That's what no, I'm saying right now. Before we talk about it. uh I mean, you want to talk a little bit just like who you rep, like who I rep, out, arm like, sports, yeah, shout, shout out, out your, yeah. shout out armed coaching, <laughs> lean, shout body. Out lean body, you know, our <laughs> yeah. balance foods, awesome. any of my sponsors yeah. or any of my people, what I do, I don't know, yes. if you can. Yes, please, because I, mean, I want to know about the online, the new platform. Well, I mean, before, you talk about, before you talk about it, I want people to know what, like, you're talking about. Austin, he, um, if you're local and listen in uh, Atascacita, he runs an awesome gym, um, What's like the official name? Um, um, arm sports, arm, but yeah, arm sports. Yeah. yeah, we have arm He's sports like, medicine, arm sports performance. Yeah, so and um, elite does classes at there, and it is a world class facility. And Austin's there. Just you being there makes it because when I see you there yelling at fucking athletes, yeah, it motivates me to roll with those goofballs. And I'm like, it's just a good vibe for All sure. Yeah. Tell us, tell us like about the, sports. Yeah, let all of us know us. Basically, yeah. So, I mean, it is, like you said, it's a gym and it's a, you know, it's a full sports medicine chiropractic facility. And we also, you know, we train the youth in sports development and how to run and focus on strength and conditioning in sports. And then, yeah, lead MMA is there to offer a whole line of mixed martial arts. So we're really just trying to control the rim of performance and sports, you know, under that facility where obviously a sports medicine team needs to be there as well. And so, you know, I manage that entirely and was one of the founders of Arm Sports. So and that's you, where I exist. You've got a whole sports medicine team on staff. On site, on staff, you know, and that's my, obviously, you know, people know me a lot from my clientele, obviously being the NFL and, you know, helping these guys out. And, you, you know, I, I- some of my former students also, some no, volleyball I, players. I do, yeah, yeah, yeah. probably do. You yeah, did, yeah. I've seen videos of them. Yeah. It's awesome. Yeah. So, and, like, what are the services the public can- Maybe if they're interested, just you know, any um, training. Yeah, I mean, if, um, if they're a student athlete or something like that, then yeah, there's monthly programs that you know where you can get training sessions yeah, with you, trainers, and um, you know, and and there's uh, if you're just injured or need a chiropractic adjustment, you know, we take walk-ins and 
you know, appoint doctors to, you know, take on the, you know, individuals and they do acupuncture and all kinds of different things Great. That, that they do on my athletes, you know. Awesome I, staff. The staff is fantastic. Yeah, I mean. Very nice. It's a good, good vibe. I appreciate that. You I, know, I mean, I, the culture is everything. I really yeah. enjoyed, I wish I lived closer. Um, I love my, I love, that was my favorite place to go do jujitsu. Yeah. The, compared to like the real small, it's like a standalone, you yeah. know. I, it's just, I kind of like, you know, rolling in that part and then y'all are like yelling at the football players and stuff. <laughs> exactly. It's, it it, it the definitely, it, the atmosphere is super different, right? Because, I mean, they're building young machines as well. I mean, they're building little, you know, a little militia. You know, they're <laughs> they're chanting, you know, yeah. at the same time, their same chant, their routines every, you know, at the beginning yeah, of their very practices. high energy. Mantras. And Yeah, and, you know, the, the respect and the discipline and, you know, all of that is there. And it's pretty interesting because you'll have MMA offering this whole, you know, way of doing it. At the same time, uh, that's with a fighting, you know, minds, you know, and things like that. And then on the sports where, you know, it might be, you know, football and basketball, you have a whole different of coaching to athlete relationship. And the yeah. dynamic is just interesting. You know, I've had, we have so many clients where the parents will sign up for one, but they want to bring their kid to the other one or they do vice versa. And that's, I that's mean, great. it's great, right? That's what yeah. you want. At the end of the day, I, that's what I think. I think growing that at your highest standards is what you want. Yes. Yeah. And I, and I want to speak the way you speak on that. I do want to say like, I'm such good friends with you. Not just because, I mean, we're like brothers because of, we grew up together, but I'm like friend. I love you as a friend now because just that energy is a lot of, a lot lacking in that just um lacking in what you said there's a lot lacking in life yeah like not in life. austin no not in austin i just want to clarify yeah. that. Yeah. Not yeah. i drink during these come on <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm gonna, I, hey i play music i'm not an athlete <laughs> finish your thought <laughs> no but uh <laughs> that's why i vibe with you so well man it's you just it's that mo that motivation it and that the energy all the, the time. energy dude and um I feel like our like synergy as a brand, who we are, it's so needed, especially more my end, because athletes, they're all they have you the you know they're hardcore motherfuckers, you know yeah. it's that life and hyper I, hyper competitive. But yeah. I found that to be very that attitude to be very beneficial to my musical career mm -hmm. when the the mainstream narrative is. I don't be soft, like yeah. love everybody, yeah. you know, like I kind of live my life like in that same aspect, but I'm also like I grew up an athlete well, and I'm, I still like in my can go hard in, in my pain. life. I'm a nice person, but in my, yeah. I mean, I still, you know, like I feel like I'm a, it, a football balance. player is not going to get very far. Like he's doing his best, you know. No, and I think that contrary, people say that. That is not the energy to have in music. I believe that it is. And it's, Agreed. I feel like, and it's just because if, if you like go and watch interviews with Michael Jackson, Prince, like they weren't saying like, be humble and um, I love this art or just, they were, you know, Prince like would tell you like, you know, if you missed it, if you were in a recording studio with Prince playing the drums, you hit a wrong note, he would fire you and get a new drummer immediately. Yeah. That's you know, hard, yeah. Just like hard artist, yeah. Michael Jackson would be the same. If you hit the wrong note, he'd fire you and get somebody else. But, that but they, I mean, what's, they're but the I, biggest. Again, yeah. what, what's your what is your role for being there, right? Like, what are you there for? They're there, you know, to be great and you know, follow their. Yeah. They have a high level that they are expecting, so that's what you're trying to do, yeah, right? Just so, high level. You know, another mindset end of that. Well, you have John Lennon, like. He's yeah. the opposite, That's though. why he got shot by a fucking schizophrenic oh, out of his house. That's, well, that's why, why he did. Prince and Michael Jackson both died from No, drugs. that's what... <laughs> John, yeah. John Lennon gave up being famous. He moved in that apartment in New York because he wanted to be just like everybody else. And it's not right, and I'm just like everybody else. And instead of getting a security team like a baller would get, mm -hmm. he thought he could live in this apartment and some psychopath flew from Hawaii to New York and shot him in his fucking front porch. Yeah, that's insane. That's why he died. That's awful. Yeah, that's, it yeah. Is. That's why I, it's. And what that's, he stood for, like, has stood 
the test of time. What did he stand yeah. for? He was a woman just, beater. What the, oh God. He did beat his old lady. He well, beat the Yoko shit Yoko probably deserved it. It's hard no, he go. didn't beat... He, oh, dude, Yoko beat him. I'm talking... <laughs> no, he, he was into Asian girls. He he hated the... His first his first kid was with that white girl. Yeah. And he beat the fuck out of her. Really? He just didn't like white girls, I guess. <laughs> and then next thing, you know, ten, ten years later, he's laying on a fucking cover of Rolling Stone naked with... Sucking on her tit in her bed. <laughs> I love you, Yoko. Okay. But I want to hear back, about... Back to... Oh, go ahead. Yeah, but but wanna, Paul is hard as fuck. That's, I want to hear about the online platform Paul that you McCartney, and Charcy just started. Oh, oh yeah. The, uh, yeah. Charcy. Yeah. Earlshreds.shop. I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, moving on. <laughs> Sorry, right. everyone. No, I appreciate that because, yeah... Um, well, stay it, hard. Stay hard. Yeah, hard artist. No, we're yeah, just hard. Artist. Yes, hard I'm artist. a hard motherfucking artist. Sydney, All right, but anyways, Sydney wants me to be John Lennon, but John Lennon would, he sucked his own wiener. He really did. You suck. did. You did play some beautiful John Lennon for us earlier on the piano. Yeah, but better than he did. And not, not, but I have to talk about <laughs> that because yeah. not many people get to see you on the piano. Yeah. So when you see Earl Thank shreds you. and he's shredding a piano, except for the uh, whole world on TikTok. Well, yeah, but that's on TikTok. That's, <laughs> that's not in person in real Correct. time. It's it doesn't not come all bro, in the last, behind the scenes. Y'all yeah. get another one because the last piano video I did, y'all roasted me. So fuck y'all. <laughs> oh, yeah, you talked about that last <laughs> night. Roasted me bad. Salty at all? I'll talk to yeah. you. Maybe tune your piano. It's electric. <laughs> it's electric. <laughs> bro, I mean, I'm not salty about it, but I'm not going to put my effort in Maybe editing the motherfucker. Maybe tune your like throat. <laughs> yeah. Maybe tune your ass. <laughs> Shots fired. Hey, anyway, it was the hardest right, song I'm, to sing. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, justified. Yeah. Anyway. So with, with the platform of you know at Arm Sports entirely, right? We're, we're doing trying to we're trying to help people. Yes, we're trying to you know we're trying to give people training that need it. Right? Not everyone. Every, some people have gym membership already. Some people you know don't and just work out from, from home and they need a plan. They need a program to follow. They need accountability. They need help with it. And Absolutely. they need to they need you know they need to understand that what they're doing is correct it's real it's right and it's okay and this is how you do it and it can all be done through an application now i mean that's technology Y'all have and so yeah i sure do so no yeah you know and so yeah it's gonna be you know it's it's i, I download that motherfucker right now <laughs> but it's <Damn> recording it. <laughs> you <laughs> i just know you had an app yeah dude no, y'all check out the well, arm sports app where have you been awesome. i haven't i haven't done yeah i haven't because honestly you know this is I've, I've been sitting on this for a while, just getting ready for it. Mm-hmm. And I think, you know, going into the new next year, it's going to be awesome. Yeah, we talked about it briefly last time. No, we were together, yeah, we were right? Together, yeah. You know, so I've been, you know, and so I teamed up with Charcy and just, uh, and just teaming up with others to just, to get all this to set. And it's cool. It, it's already kicked off. You know, we, so even cool. Murph from high school, he's on there. He's killing it. You know, Thomas Murph. No way. Yeah. Dude, so I've let, shout out Murph. Yeah. So, he's, he's looking good. Dude, he's, he look, no. I saw him at a... Montana's last week and he looked great. Murph, you look fucking great. He's already lost like 15 pounds. You know, his body fat percentage dropped like 5%. Tall. Yeah. yeah. Tall Tom? Tall Tom. Uh, he, he deserves to. He's he good looking good. Dude. Yeah, yeah good it, for him. And the data, you know, like you can, you That's know, awesome. the information, so, you know, and the, you know, dude, dude, technology is just next level right now. So, you know, if, with we have smart watches. Yeah, we were can, talking about the watches. Oh, so you're linked calories, up with so, the wearables. Yeah, I'm linked up with technology, which allows me to know everything, to keep tabs on people. Yeah, so he knows completely. if like you did your workout. No, that's awesome. I know awesome. if you did your workout. I know how many hours you slept last night. I know what your resting heart rate is. I can see everything. I remember. I do remember you talking about this app. You made it happen. Like, yeah, I think maybe like a year ago I talked to yeah, you. Yeah, dude, been, you made. I, I never doubted you. So I have a question, just because I honestly don't know. Mm-hmm. Um, arm sports is this a plate like a open gym type where I can get an no. open membership or do I have That's to That's a great be a, question. Not really, right? Like personal. So I, you, yeah. you know, not, it's for the group classes for kids. You know, that's what uh-huh. we do there. You know, appointment if you want like your chiropractic or yeah, something yeah. like that. And if you need it, you know, we only have, there's really only two trainers there, yeah. you know, and, and if you're trying to get with them, then that's just going to be you getting with them directly and they're going to take you and personal train you in, or not, right? Yeah. And that's where, that's like, you know, people ask me all the time, so do we have personal trainer? You know, and so it's really a private gym, really. Yeah, you that's know, what and I it's just thought. there'll be certain time blocks where we'll be opening up to the public to, you know, do the MMA or, you know, yeah. and that's often when kids are out of school. Yeah. But when the kids are in school, then we're a private gym because, you know, I might have a clientele from an, one NFL flying in for one day and I'm seeing him for one day and he's gone. Yeah. And or it might be a, 
the football season, and then I have that a girl, is so cool, you man. know, and and then have a girl that I want to that she's going to the military, and she has to leave because she's going intel for the navy, and yeah. she needs to get really? in shape, and so yeah, we got a deadline, you know. Yeah. So at the end of the day, we're branded armed sports. I think military and professional athletes. Yeah, that's what I thought. I mean, this, I knew it was geared towards that, but I didn't know the, how it was like for this is the company the I keep. Yeah. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah, that's awesome. that's what I do. That's how. That's what I think. That's what that's what makes the brand the brand. You know, yeah, like absolutely. you know, we, you know, Cage definitely yeah. shares a lot. You know, Kate Hardy, yes. obviously one of our close friends. He's Green Bray. He's, yeah, shout out. I hope you're doing you know, good, buddy. Congrats yeah. on your um, new news. That's a big deal. Right. Yeah. 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 Well, well, keep baby. your kid away from mine, though. <laughs> 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 I don't want to see him anywhere near mine. <laughs> yeah. So he's like, a little demon, bro. <laughs> I know. Yeah. That, kid is, okay, that, that child is going to <laughs> four. Yeah, it, he's I'm going not, places. Fuck, oh, I'm. A, we need more of. I mean, Austin, you're helping to do it. America needs these kids to be a little harder because the Chinese aren't weak. <laughs> Russian dudes, they aren't weak. No, we we need either. these guys. We need these facilities. Yeah, right? it's yeah. About I like seeing development. Yes, and I like seeing Cade's oh, stuff like um, that he posts because it's you know relevant yeah. to armed sports, obviously. Yeah. Because I guess he's doing the program mm -hmm. via app. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. Oh, yeah. that's so yeah. he's doing it uh, online while he's out on Saving America. Cade, Cade is not with me because he's on his own. Pro he's he doesn't yeah. he doesn't he's on, communicate. He's on that. Uncle Sam's program. <laughs> <laughs> he, 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 he's literally he's qualified to be another trainer. You yeah, know, he's on that level of of you know he, he you, before the green before the military he was my workout partner. Yeah, and my best and only my number one. You know, yeah. so well, like I, I remember y'all from high school football yeah. team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. legendary yeah. troublemakers. Yeah, <laughs> whirlwind. Oh, yeah, do you do you work with a lot of military? Yeah, that's what he yeah, said. Yeah, Brandon well, I'm towards just saying military. like a lot, a lot. I it's, didn't know that. Yeah, like yeah, like most of them, or they they have military interests. Like they're going to the military and, and they even, they're they ready for. They got to get ready for their test. Even right now, I have a girl. She's got a full scholarship as swimmer, but she's going to West Point. But she knows oh, yeah. she still needs to be trained how to do all these these in her test, her C, so you know, cool. CFA. Yeah, yeah. It, you got to do every, that's what you makes know, everything in the military. Sure. Yeah, you still got to throw a basketball and see how far you can throw, it, and they test you on that. And you, what is your she's a swimmer? She's never even played with a basketball. Dude, that is one. so cool. Doesn't man. know how to throw. You know, you have to really think like you have to teach someone that just doesn't know how to do something. And they're a little like, nerdier. You're going to West Point, you're on the nerdier side. Yeah, yeah. yeah so, they're just... I think, uh, not even nerdier, just like intelligent. Yeah, book smart. Oh, yeah. Super intelligent. I mean, they're nerds. all yeah. Yeah. intelligent. Yeah, yeah nerds. <laughs> you, were, you were smart. In school, I have so a friend that like, like that was his goal to like go to... <laughs> West Point, like yeah, I mean, you, dude, it's a huge, it's a huge. It's like uh, Harvard, highly intelligent. It's probably better than Harvard. Yeah, and yeah. You know, it's funny is one of these athletes that you know she got a, a scholarship offer there didn't even understand how cool it was. You know, they cool. don't. They're so yeah. like naive and young at that point. They don't even understand what kind of benefit they're going to get. It might change yeah. their you life. You got West like, Point. Whoa. You got West Point on the resume. You're getting any fucking job. It's bragging she, right? rights. You, you know, <laughs> she gets it now. See, yeah. I asked her now. She's like, oh, I know. It's cool. Yeah, I bet your ass. Yeah, you get anywhere. You're, you, you're not going to be in a fucking small room doing podcasts. <laughs> Never know. No, I'm just kidding. Y'all be fucking lucky to have this job. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know, I'm, I, I was never an athlete, but I feel like I have the energy of one in my passion <laughs> I mean, for music. What about skating? Does that even count? Whenever I was not you, good at skating. Did you I'm bike a, at all? I mean, you, you hung out with... I don't ride my bike kind now. Of crowd. He just wore his Etnies and his yeah, he just really tried, big he just, pants. He just copied all my swag in the homeroom <laughs> class. Oh, <laughs> oh, no, absolutely. Bro. And he was just hanging out with Trevor Fogel playing the guitar. Just put oh, his hood on oh, and his hair in his face. Bro, you're gross. You do. I hope you listen to this, bro. You're gross. Come, but you can come on the podcast. Not now. You can after settle you insulted it. Him. You could. Oh. He could change. He could change my opinion. Who? Old Fogel did he? Oh, Fogel. Oh, yeah. He could change if he. Dude, Dude, I'll more than I'll, I will mediate that, or Sid and I will both, that podcast. We'll bring them both on, bring both yeah. of you on, and y'all can play SRV to, right next to each other. We'll find out who. No, I'm not playing <laughs> nothing with him until we talk about what he said. He said naughty things. True, he, he made did. me mad. Oh, he did. Hey, this I might is have, deep. Hey, no, and I, and, well, he said, uh, uh, 
Are you about he, to blast him on the podcast? Said, do you remember what he said? Because yeah, this just, happened in Steve like. Steve Ray Vaughan wasn't that good. Get, get at the, no, and I get, and the blues are easy. He was just talking. Yeah. I thought this was going to be something very personal well, that he said. This is just like an opinion that, that he is had. Very per- this oh, is it, fucking per- it, it destroyed the entire it, music culture. I, well, yeah, this I mean, happened like it's a terrible 15 opinion. Years ago, we're still talking. I swear Obviously. it did. Yeah, y'all both remember yeah, that. I swear it happened, what, freshman year, sophomore year? Oh, wow. Yeah, a long time ago. And he was into like. The squiggle stuff that yeah he would just drag drag, yeah. drag drag his what was it like oh man stop <laughs> hey, well, no I think he dragged his ovation just like by the neck I'll like, just drag it on the He's carpet like, you, like when he'd walk to do class you know, do you know this uh, scale this mix yeah just like cross his legs take his shoes off on the sit no. on the desk and pick his ovation and talk about how the SRV wouldn't get the blues yeah. Dalton didn't like him at all obviously he said that <laughs> that's like my hero dude I hey, and I'm, but I'm, meanwhile Dalton's just dressed in a black t- you know band t-shirt yeah. and his jeans <laughs> too and big and knees yeah. and he's just looking over there like dude it pissed me off bro. are you just playing drop D the whole time piss me off well I mean look who <laughs> but hey, I'll I, never forget that moment though. I, yeah, that was I funny. might have a, I got, I have a, a, a thing in the works with the blues station on Sirius XM Radio, and we're gonna make that shit happen. Nice, so, fuck that's exciting. You. Yeah. I'm gonna show you oh. all how serious, bro. How, how serious? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sirius XM Radio. I love, I love it's super serious. <laughs> That'd yeah. be fun, dude. I'm about it. I, let's let's hash it out on the pod. Yeah, hash word. Put him up. Come. Put him over there next to AP. You think he's the only hater I got? Actually, let's put him. Let's put you and him over there. Yeah, I'll come sit over there. Yeah, AP can come with me, and we'll just ask y'all. Be one guitar. And oh. they'll keep it over there by us. Yeah, it's like the talking stick, but it's Yeah, I'm going to put the camera like. <laughs> but it plays. I'm going to put the camera right in his face and say, play me something cool, buddy. <laughs> He'd be intimidated. Yeah. He'd bring his dog. He can come. All my haters are more than welcome to come, but you ain't getting a fucking invite. So if you do, ask me. I'll say yes. <laughs> what? <laughs> so, how, so they'll just get greeted differently. They just show up? or No, they I'm them. not going to reach out to them, but they're more. If they you reach out to me, I know who you are. It's, so they say, hey, can I on the, come on the podcast? She's like, no, not really, but I guess. No, I'm going to say yes. <laughs> I'm going to say, yeah, looking forward to it. I'm actually going to pretend <laughs> to be their friend say. and then, like, hang out with them. Just and as soon as the them. camera starts falling, I'm going to say, so you remember the fucking shit you said? <laughs> <laughs> Just roast them the entire So time. now that everybody's fucking watching, let's see. <laughs> you still fucking think that shit? <laughs> yeah, they're definitely not coming on now. Yeah, no, they're not. <laughs> I don't want them on. I don't want I, – I told that. I, I had a meeting with somebody today. I told him, I was like, honestly, this podcast, I was just expecting to be me and Sydney for the first like 50 episodes. I can't believe I only you made know, it. Have this I only made it two. You, I can't believe I have you on. Yeah, he bro. kicked me off mean? after the second episode. I can't believe I have you on. Oh, dude. This is awesome. I know. Dude. I've been waiting for this one. And I don't really want to just do musicians. It's cool to have. Uh, this is more my speed. I mean, obviously, I love music and I'm passionate about it. She but this won't is get like, more health. Yeah, yeah. It would be, we could do a lot. We I could love do. music too, and that's where it's like that's yeah. where still we share that. Yeah, you know? yeah. We're talking about Some, SRV and the blues right now, and, yeah. <laughs> and how yeah. they suck. How he yeah. sucks. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, but, but even that, you know, we have our interests with sports and yeah. wellness and health. Well, I'm interested. In health wellness. is important in general. Yeah, you should. Most people should, right? Yeah, I, I mean, could, like you want to live, right? Yeah. Most people generally no, would like I do. to live a good life. I wish I had more time life. to focus on. Like I said, I need to. You have to make time. time. Excuse me, yeah. That's like you the, have the you, time. Yeah. Let me see. You I, literally live every day. Like you have you, to decide you want. I can't. Yeah. Period. Yeah. But what I have to release a podcast. What the hell does that Is have that, to do with anything? But I'm, I'd literally be up till three in the morning doing this. Every night. <laughs> yeah. Like I don't have time to work out. Like I really don't. I literally uh, work every you, day. I work every day. Yeah. You can work and work out two in the same day. I can't. I mean, oh, I actually no, I do work out. Yeah, I do work out. Keep telling yourself that, and you never will. No, I. It's all about words. Make time. No, I work out. I'm sorry. No, you do. He does. I do work work out. Like, but that's boring. Like, I want to do more. (laughs) I want to do jujitsu. That's really what I. Then then do it. You just got put in your head. Say, I'm gonna do do it. Do you have two hundred dollars a month? Uh. No, Ain't no but, okay. yeah. I'm sure one of some of we. I mean, we just shouted them out, so I'm sure maybe one I of them, my our sponsors little, will yeah. might be able to uh, get you, on scholarships. If, if somebody somehow. gives me some free training, hey, or maybe that Joel's gonna cut down like some of your cigarette 
like purchases, and maybe sw- that two hundred dollars from cigarettes can go towards jujitsu. Yeah, Sid, that's a great oh, idea. Maybe, you just make, maybe I can just make more money, and yes. then you can go. That's one way. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's you think sure. fucking Andrew Priorities. Tate? I'm gonna channel Andrew like, oh. Tate real quick. Can I, y'all just give me a second because I'm yeah. feeling real fucking feminine. <laughs> oh, Andrew. <laughs> Like Fem- feeling feminine, fucking bigotti, <laughs> F- feminine. Are you feeling anti-feminist, dude? Andrew, yeah. please. I would, dude. Imagine if I had Andrew Tate on the podcast. <laughs> That'd be sick as fuck. Andrew, come on, baby. I love <laughs> Take me on your yacht, Andrew. He's <laughs> not. I want to have Andrew Tate's brother, but not hey, him. You're like you're way pussy. too close to the mic. Fuck you. Oh, oh what the fuck? Oh, maybe you should have Andrew Tate on here. I'll, just, I'll take my crystals and He'd leave. Be happy that he, yeah, it should. He'd be happy. He'd like, yeah, you're, you're stealing all the crystals, by the way. You just gave me the giraffe. Oh, oh, well, I did that so the GoPro could see. It. Oh, that's true. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I'm, you're still, you're still getting. You. No, you're still getting the the energy. I, sh- I certainly am. I'm sharing it with you. You are. I'm not sharing it with Dalton. Though. No. Yeah. Should we review one? If you come, will you come back on sometime? Yeah, sure. Maybe uh, let's review one. Can we take one up? Just don't, one. Don't touch my crystals. <gasps> it's okay. You can touch that one. Okay, guys. <laughs> Let me tell you. Look at it. Hold on. Anyways, I want to hear more about <laughs> the feeling, online platform. I'm feeling. <laughs> hold on. I'm feeling. I'm feeling vaccinated. <laughs> Put it back. Oh right God. where you found it. Hold on. <laughs> You know what we do with crystal around here? Let me case track. <laughs> Not my cloud. No. I'm sorry. It's Look at that Drusy in there. You're going to have to cleanse that one. I know. I got to go put it on the moon and let it recharge. Yeah. yeah seriously, I got to recharge it. Don't, don't even act like you know how to recharge these. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm an energy suck, not an energy crank. He's an energy succubus. <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah. a succubus. I'm here to take all the energy. Yeah. Have you ever been to one of my shows? It's okay, I'm here I to sh- give it all. I sure so. have. <laughs> he sucks the life out of people. If you're, le- if you're not leaving my show, I have fully drained. <laughs> Man, I've Pur- seen it happen to Purple you. Purple Rain did that to me the first like four shows. <laughs> first 42 times. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, how many times? Like, that's, that's, hey, you don't want motherfuckers when you're into your show be like, where's the after party? Like, no. Nah. We, we just, just got fucked in the ear. He yeah, just, he just had it, Gosh. dude. It's a, it's, it's a, to me, a, the dude. The last show at the Whiskey Barn was. Whew, that That's was why we're nuts. yin and yang. He sucks the energy out, and I just give it back. I yeah. suck it out. That was nuts. Thank you. y'all are the Godier motherfuckers for coming. Um, God, that show was. I wish I had my GoPro, dude. That would have been a sick video. Is some <laughs> of the ones that we showed up to? Which no, one? It, uh, yeah, it was two last weeks, week yeah, or two weekend weeks before ago. last. Oh, yeah. It was it w- wild, bro. Yeah. yeah, I mean, dude. The one y'all how, showed up to was fun too. I mean, though. how? I mean, it got pretty. I mean, dude, how, it's always a good time. I mean, I saw some cash get thrown at the time. Oh, honestly. that time. How, that wild, how much the, that wilder did the one that, that I might have been yeah. the wildest? That's time. what I'm saying. That was totally <laughs> how wild the wild did two weeks ago. I for, yeah, I forgot about that. It that was night. just packed. Yeah, that night was nuts. Yeah, that was that was. I mean, that was insane. Sometimes I look about, so I really do think back on some of these nights because it's life is so fast paced. But yeah. all, most of these nights that I, I'm talking about it were with you because the, <laughs> yeah. like, yeah. they were insane. Like, yeah, green. Because you were there for that. You're such a, yes. And you're such a busy dude, but it's like, Austin, you're the type of dude to be like, hey, this is this show has potential. I need you to elevate it. Like, yeah. And that's because you're a busy guy. I don't, I don't want you coming to. Six people like I, no, I appreciate that. Yeah, I'm, no. I'm so glad he yeah. was at Green Hall because he like helped me, so, helped oh, I, you, yeah. helped me help you. Yeah, so you much. made that show, dude. They would have leave my guitar. T- I, no, they would have oh, turned yeah. my guitar off. I ran up to Austin oh, like ready God. to bust with through a sound, wall. Sound, I forgot with sound. Yeah, how dude. awful that was. Yeah, yeah. they, they, they muted. I was pissed. I don't know who like, the sound guy was. Something. You're a hoe that dude, day. Yeah, <laughs> we, we had to fully, you know, work. That was that was when we realized we had some growing. You know, growing pains like as a, being yeah. in a big for like, you know, place yeah. environment. You I know, wouldn't all even that, not knowing different people's I, music. People, it was just yeah. I whole, wouldn't say growing pains. It was more like the music business is not all love. That's true. Yeah, yeah that was facts. Right? Like, yeah. They don't just it. Yeah. They don't just no. They no, don't just I, care for each other. Yeah, around yeah no. It's almost like it's, it's like, like a different team. If you're if you're worse than the artist, they put they rep. They'll. Bro, they rubbing. love you. Yeah, yeah. Like they love a shitty opener. Like that's not obviously people will watch them, but they're like 
below the mediocre. Them. Yeah, but if you're better than the headliner, oh my the, god, ooh, that's they're, no. They're, they're, and I, I feel like we've already made sabotage. some salty friends from Bro, doing that I, already. Have I, told I include you, myself? You, I've, I've, <laughs> I never helped the cause. There was a, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if anything, no, I want you to. <laughs> I mean, I, I I would expect for you to fight them while I'm on stage. Oh, yeah, I would and. I almost, dude. I'm. I tried to get in a fist fight with the sound guy like a few oh, months ago. <laughs> I don't know, if I, but it was. And you're a hoe. You're a bitch. <laughs> you're a <laughs> you're straight a bitch. Hoe. He ran away. I was trying to fight. He oh, literally like, said, "I said we gotta go." He said, "Eight points wasn't a good song." He probably had never heard that song. No, but he said it wasn't a good song. He said I couldn't write music. He was just he being was just he a was, hater. Man. He was just doing it to rile Dalton up. Literally, but he got don't it. let him. But he, he ran riled, away like a little hoe. He, he ran riled away back him to up. His daddy. For sure. Yes. You weren't there, AP. That was a fucking problem. No. All right, redirect. To what? I, I want to hear about Did the you app. Vote? I want to know how How's much percent off I can get oh, for this workout program. Oh, I saw right it. now. So that's what I'm saying. I mean, the prices are going to go up. You know, right now, it's like do a code amazing. right now. No, like, there, there. I literally saw an ad earlier saying, like for you're going to get yeah. It's like so. What do you want me like the range, the monthly range of what it's going right even, now? What do you need? Yeah, I mean, I just want, I'm trying to promote it. And, yeah, like, yeah. that's awesome. Like, and I literally was about to click yeah, on it because I'm like, I wonder if I can afford this. You can. You can. It's a Black Friday, yeah. You can. Yeah, that's what it was, Black Friday It's a deal. Black Friday sale. Yeah. yeah and it's going to be, yeah, for what it's going at right now, it's, like, no bullshit. It's probably, like, a quarter of the price of what it'll be what by the said. next month. Because, I mean, all this is, like, with our platform and everything that's going on, like, and how we've done it, it's, like, this, this is this is a whole new era of human performance. Yeah, it's exciting. And so, like, you know, you mean like science? Science is strongly included. I mean, how you're you know, yeah, discipline, it, accountability, but also there your some, data is right hey, there. So I see some fifty year old dudes Pro, now. Well, that, programming, like that's yeah, you have no excuse. So yeah. you know, you're paying for it to happen. So, I have another question. No, no. So. I, bro, I go out in that sweaty-ass garage, and I'm a fat ass. You ain't got no excuse. Get your ass to the fucking gym. Right. But I go out in that dang... Literally, I had to work out a month ago, and a rat died. <laughs> and I, <laughs> really? And I put rat poison out, and I went out there to work out. Right next to my bench, dead rat. And I had to work out in 90-degree weather, That's smelling motivation. dead rat. That's motivation. That it is was. motivation. That is motivation. That I'll tell motivation. you what's motivation when you play a show. The photographer takes a picture and you post it and you're like, fuck. Yeah, this <laughs> it's really you, are you are nasty at your shows. You're disgusting. <laughs> disgusting. Yeah, but <laughs> it, can't, it can't be like, yeah, I do get a little sweaty. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I have a question. <laughs> Say, like sweaty baby. Like, luckily, I work out at a badass gym. Um, there's We have a badass, like, home gym in the garage. But... Before that, I didn't have anything. I might have had a set of like five pound dumbbells and maybe a twenty pound kettlebell, mm -hmm. um, and like a jump rope. Not even a good jump rope. So what? Like, so what if I, that was me? Like, I don't have any. I literally have used like things in the shop before, like an axe. Yeah, and for sure. Like yeah. a tire part. Like I've exactly right. You know, so like whatever I had. That's what, no, it's amazing, right? So that's, um, so there's a whole entire exercise library on there where you have videos of me and or Charcy showing you in, in, in doing these exercises. And so then, you know, that didn't have to have weight. And, yeah, a lot, you know, and body then, weight's the best. Exactly. Yeah. And then, so then, you know, you have the exercise, you see how to do it and it's still timed and it's still, you know, you might have a rest interval, you know, and everything is just, it's controlled for you. It's sold exactly you know, it's lined out for you. And so, you know, you have no room to fail. Yes. Those, you know, really, at the end of the day. So and so, you know, what are you trying to achieve and what duration are you trying to do it? And how serious are you? So, like, I guess in your, like, you have a consultation. So you can say, like, yeah. so I have. So there's I a have personalized aspect to. One million percent. Nice. Yeah, I mean, it's I mean, everyone, be, everyone's different. Yeah. I mean, how, is, how, do you, how do you really manage everyone's performance? Like the best workout program, the best exercise diet is the one that's best for your lifestyle. No, I mean, not, it's not one just fits yeah, all. Yeah, I don't believe in blanket. I don't believe in blanket coverage. Yeah, you, and you have to under. So I mean, it really just comes down to education and learning about your lifestyle. Yeah, what do you if want? You, if you can apply the correct education to people, 
and that are trying to achieve a goal and you learn about their lifestyle, then you can help them. You can put them in a great position to achieve those goals. Yeah, you, got, you give and them the so, right steps and all the tools to achieve it. To achieve it and then just manage them. So and, and people will admit, then people lack accountability. And yeah. as long as you manage that, manage accountability as an harm your coach. That's my biggest that's what thing. We do. That's why I have to have somebody. I mean, I was a coach, so you'd think I could program my own workouts, and I can, but I got to have somebody standing there for accountability. For sure. Because if it's just me, I'm like, oh, mm, it's fine. Like, I'll just do a couple more reps and be done. No, I got to, I'm a competitor. I got to have competition and yeah. motivation and, you know, somebody pushing me. Exactly. So, Is that so how like you it, are. Um, so in, in, uh, in times of the year straight up. So, you know, and I train, I prepare the guys for the, the draft January, February, March. So I'm in the gym and my workouts, my program is, is all day. It's for them. My, my, all of the workouts that I'm doing through the day is for them. And so it's exhausting for me yeah. at the end of the day to think about my workouts for myself. I'm not on some crazy program at that point. I'm on a very maintenance yeah. Easy routine to could just de just de stress and decompress. That's like we hard. talked about when you get off work, mm -hmm. right? It's like it's not. I don't make what I do any more difficult than what it needs to be in certain times of my yeah, life. Yeah, these guys require all your time, my in the tension and in the, the NFL and, and shit. And, yeah, and the intensity, right? And yeah. Just all of the, when I deliver that, I feel like I've worked out all day from yeah. delivering the intensity Dude, you, of those. You workouts. work out more than anybody. I think that's how I, I know. That's how I felt when I was coaching. Is that like I exhausted most of my resources and efforts into putting everything I have into these girls, and then at the end of the day, like I want somebody to tell me what to do because yeah, trainers yeah, have trainers. Yeah. You know, yeah. train. They you know people. That's yeah. normal. You know, and people, trainers. Other people program trainers, and yeah, I mean, my trainer down, is you, training with it, another trainer, and right yeah. at the end of the day, it comes down to accountability and discipline, and people need help with that. So if you gotta about, be, you gotta be built different to do that. I can never. I can't. T I can't manage people like that. I just yeah. It's a. I mean, it's hard. Yeah. You gotta have a passion. Like well, you I, can't, yeah, you can't change the world. I mean, you can't change everyone. You know no. what I mean? And that's not the deal. But at the end, of, at the same time, like you can, you can open somebody. You can. I mean, you can change their life. You yeah. can open up a lot of, you know, the ugly truth to, to them, mm -hmm. and have them swallow it. And, and, and change their life. It's, it's crazy. You know, I was just speaking to this girl at work today that, you know, she's been on the program for the last few months. You know, she works on my staff, literally just gave it to her just, you know, to keep her accountable and, and get her on the program. And, Looking you know, good. my God, she's lost, you know, it's crazy how much it's changed her life from her posting on social media to literally putting herself out there publicly to how she just showed up with an entire new haircut and literally how she, the, the way she literally moves and every step around is just changed. And the, the, the attention she's getting from client, you know, from That's patients, amazing. it's truly cr incredible how I've, yeah. how I've watched it right in front of my eyes. It's just great. Changed it's crazy life. to see somebody like make the leap, like putting themselves out there. Man, it's so remember empowering. Remember how scary it was so from, empowering. remember how scary it was for me? Like, I guess I'm just going to start making content and posting publicly. And then yeah. once you do it, it's like, it's just like a muscle, you know, you work it out. It's yeah, just, it's do. all about that one. Like you can train well, people for years, like with students or, you know, athletes. Like if you can get through that one and just see that one success story, not even a success story, but just what you just talked about, like it motivates you for. And it yeah, reminds yeah. you why you do it, right? Exactly. Same yes. thing with the athletes. You know, they're glorified children. That's why I still yes. don't have any. You know, they're my kids. <laughs> yeah. You know, but at the same time, when, it, when I turn it on, or I'm at the bar even, you know, and I look up and it's and it's Monday Night Football and, and they're playing right now. And I didn't even, you know, there's, you there's, your there's a few. Pumping. There's so many, you know, literally they could be playing each other. They, I can't keep up with everybody's schedule. It's impossible. Yeah. But I see them up there. And that to me is like, Wow, they're looking at this the amazing. Yeah, proud you know, parent. That's, that's you're right. That's yeah. like, man, I can't put a price on that. Yeah, you know. So that's yeah, but that's what, that's what that's what, that's what makes hard you, does. That's what you yeah. got to be. That's what you got to be as a, a team player, like a leader, motivational. Because have to be, and I think now like with a team, I'm trying work. to think. I'm trying to say like, I'm how I can relate to that, but I selfishly I don't. Well, you're in a like, band, but music's different. Well, that's what I'm saying. I'm like, I feel, I feel selfish now because I really just live for, like, the moment. 
of like guitar synergy crowd. It's, I guess it's all selfishness. But. He's not like you don't even like team sports. Like he's not like yeah, like not team, team oriented. Team or- where I I've grown up like I am. 100% team oriented. I guess I just like, followed. It's drilled in my brain. I just followed since I literally first saw him fall to Eddie Van Halen. And I mean, just followed his way of life. I guess maybe it's not for the best, but that he the was this. just wants to be a god that's worshiped. Yeah, maybe so. I don't know. <laughs> like, I mean, well, I, mean, I want to do the, I want to go in and record the beat it solo in one take. Like, you're you know, right. But, I, of, but of course, everyone might know. You say that, but you might not know what's the best way to actually get you there. But someone that knows you knows that this might help you well, get there but no, the best way. That's you know? a good so point. So that's why team is huge. I do, yeah. I guess the only part I really own is the hour and a half I'm on stage. Because I do, like right now, I'm looking for people to help me now. So, yeah, I guess that's the, t- it's just, I kind of, it's just weird when you're, the, like you're, product is like your training and your it's just weird for me like when your product is when you, you yeah when you're <laughs> yeah, you, when you are like product, your pictures yeah. like yeah it's just oh, kind of a, I, I guess I see why like it, it could be really easy to fall into like you know you're the how mo- a lot of like musicians that are famous like kind of get weird and yeah, closed really weird. off yeah yeah yeah, yeah just, it's just you're kind of weird <laughs> Yeah, I get never mind. I guess I'm right. Yeah, I am. It's just, but I. It's all for but that. We're kind of weird too. Like, it's yeah, all you've definitely. been to my shows. It's it's not. I don't really do it to get more famous. It's really this. It's like when the the crowd when the show's packed mm. and the band is like all locked in. You know those, and it's yeah. it's not. There's it's never the whole show. No, I feel like not that's at all. like that's and how it, I thought of like jump ball, a basketball like, game. You know, like. like yeah. Like yeah. sometimes it's on like Purple Rain. It's just those like well, there's that a certain minute frequency. that it's like there's like a frequency in time, right? Yeah. Where it's just like everything's moving like at a just different speed level, yes. right? Mm-hmm. Everything's in sync with each other. You know, it's almost like whenever it's majestic in some way. Yeah, you know, it's like my NFL running backs. When but, as soon as they grab the ball and there's there's this moment in time where they're about to get hit, but like everything's happening so fast that they're moving natural. All of this is actually just happening naturally. Yeah. Like and, and that's just happening at a really fast yeah. level. But your music is the same. Yeah, it's the same thing. It's those it's, like with music. It's the yeah. same thing. Like, we talk I mean maybe we've talked about Because my like sometimes my eyes will roll back in my head and I <laughs> straight try. up. And you're just my tongue not, will come out and I feel like <laughs> No. And, and, no, but, and, and people think it's people I guess it's like I market myself and just hype myself up. Um, people think it's like, oh, you just, I don't like, it's a selfish thing, but it's like that moment requires a crowd. No doubt. So it's like, I have to, I have to be this way to get people at the show. Well, it's adrenaline. It's not like, and it's just like, and it's when there's a lot of people in the band. It's like star power. Really, It really is. That's how I think about it. It's like star power, you know, like whenever you, and especially whenever I've, when I've witnessed this. Yeah, when the sound is right. And musicians, and and you hear about this in great musicians, you just get lost. Mm -hmm. You know, like you do just how we watched videos and videos of SRV. It's like, yeah, that's, he's the goat. Talk about drugs or not. It doesn't matter. Like he is destroying and creating beautiful music with that instrument. It is just, he's lost. He and then you get his, lost watching it. You do, and it's just, but like, if you really try oh, to that's the moment, think about him, it's like that's the moment crap. I live for. Is I can see people sometimes, and they get like lost. Like, yeah, they're not even. It's like they're not smiling. Like, oh, this band's good. <laughs> like a lot of most of the time, it's been like they're smiling, drinking beer. Like, oh, this band's good. But even that look, they they will they'll stop. Sometimes they'll stop smiling and they'll just do this and stare. And it's like. They're just like I do that. Mesmerized. Those, yeah, yeah, musicians. I reach, do that too. Like reach for that moment and like because yeah. that's what you want the crowd reaction from me. It's like when they, especially like there's always the people in the bar that are like it's the most times the dudes the ledger, or, or there's the dudes they don't want to. They, they're like trying to get with this chick and like they want to act hard. And it's when you can get those dudes to like they subconsciously stop and, and pull their attention, and that's when I know I have a good like one million. Percent. Because most of, you know they walk right in front of the bar with the beer like and don't even look at you like they're trying to be hard. Yeah, I'm like I get it, and we're not playing that song enough. right now. Yeah, yeah, we're not killing it. Like I get it, um, but it's when you can get them to be like, 
stop. And then their girlfriend's just going, <laughs> yeah. And production has a lot to do with that. That's why I'm on y'all's ass too. I just know that like, because it's oh, just yeah. all of it. It's like mm -hmm. you want to see it all in one. Well, that's why I'm so like big green, on green. I mean, I mean, I had people literally coming at coming up to after y'all show saying that they could leave early because they had just seen enough. So hey, yeah, that, I'm gonna I can, I, can I be, and I get real. <laughs> I mean, oh God. I, I'll, a lot of uh, artists we may have opened for have gotten mad about that. I mean, I believe it, but but, but it's, it's like we know. Are you going to change your songs? Yeah. Choice? That's why, Hell no. That's real talk. I mean, I, in my opinion, GCD doesn't really get asked to open or like go with a lot of people because, and I feel like a lot of it has to do with me because it's like, and I do get this sense that lead singers. They view their lead guitar player as like their secret weapon attachment. I mean, hell yeah. And it's like Go go gadget guitar player. Yeah, like <laughs> and then they see me. I mean, how many other, there's not a somebody told me that there's just no lead guitar player. Like, I feel proud, like it just inspired by Eddie, how Eddie had his brand. Like, mm -hmm. I feel like lead guitar players, they're not it's just they've all become hired gun employees. Yeah. Like, where is the brand? Where is lead. the Where's the, the like, you know, there were a lot of people that went to see Van Halen just to see Eddie. Mm -hmm. There were some people that went to see David. Some people went to see the whole band. And a lot of people, like, where is that at? Like, yeah. the, a yeah, lot yeah. of, especially in the country music scene, yeah. it's just like hired, like, oh, I'm on the tour with this guy. I'm going to play the licks. And you're right. You know, yeah. I'm like, where's the art? You don't see yeah, it. The art, yeah. right? You don't see it as much. You so, know, it's, you know, and, you know, Right off the back in country music, you make me think of who kind of <laughs> stemmed away from that is the Wilder Blue, because you know yeah. you had Zane Williams and he he was his own act, and then you actually had Paul Eason who was playing lead for Kevin Fowler for a long time, and then you know but he didn't it, it have just, his own did, thing, but then they just came together. Now they create art. If you go to any of their shows, it's art. They're both the lead singers because yeah. they can offer just two amazing things. Something you know, unique. It's, yeah, it's it's unbelievable. And it's amazing. And I'm also going to see them next week in New Bronzeville at the River House. Oh, yeah. They'll be at River Road Ice House. Who? Uh, uh, the Wilder Blue. Blue. Yeah, the Wilder and, uh, Blue. You're a lot, dude. He's talked about them a lot. Yeah. Man, so, I want to go. I, wanna I mean. We should buy a hotel room and go. Dude, you can just come to the house. <laughs> <laughs> For real? Yeah. What, do, what did I, we agreed to something on Saturday. To see uh, MCR. Is it their album release? A single release. Oh, I gotta go to that. I, mean, yeah. I have to go to that. Yeah, Damn. but they play around here, and you, I'll let you know whatever. I can yeah, let's go to a show. I go and then, then, oh, let's go to a show, and then we'll come back and do a concert recap, or have them on. Wilder Blue, you're more than welcome to come on. I mean, yeah, I mean, I'm they're, saying yes. Lyndon Hughes, you may know him, Lyndon. From I know the name from Steamy Cooper Media. He did. Oh Mason's yeah, show. he's uh, <laughs> whatever the st yeah called. Steamy Cooper. <laughs> It is a Steamy Cooper. Steamy Cooper. Sorry, I didn't mean to call you out. That was Steamy funny. Cooper. I'm just hey, putting words together. It sounded right. I don't hey, it was know. close enough. Hey, I'm, yeah. gonna, I'm yeah. going there tomorrow. Stormy, yeah. yeah Stormy. Yeah, and, Stormy. And Lyndon, you know, he's harmonizing with all, all of those those big names that are just behind the name, the Walter Blue, that no one knows. Yeah. But when you go, you'll see the art. It's unlike, it's kind of, but it's the new age of almost Texas country music. It's it's art. You yeah. Know, it's not about the band name anymore, you know, just that name. <laughs> No, it's I'm about, trying. It's not about the art. four quarters in the truth anymore. Like no. we're, we're going a little deeper. Like let's, yeah, we're, we're looking you know. for we're looking for the weird. Uh, I feel like I'm helping that. So I mean, I mean, I bring the steel guitar back. Yeah, oh, bring it back, dude. <laughs> they just Please. they cost at five hundred dollars a show. That's the problem. Yeah, I, if I, it, I can play it. I literally can play the steel. Oh, guitar. I didn't know that. Yeah, I can play the steel. I just they're it's like twenty five hundred dollars for one. Yeah, 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 they are expensive. I had a, I have a lap steel. It's left-handed lap steel guitar. What? Oh, the yeah, because I'm left-handed. Cool. I thought about getting one of those, but cool. yeah, they're not what people want to hear. No, they they don't know. They see that and they think it's a steel, but they want to hear the pedal steel. That's exactly what I wanted to play. I didn't even take the time to even play that because <laughs> it could help my fingers. It doesn't that. sound, yeah. and that's not the tone that's we're going for. Yeah, you yeah. well, you don't have the pedals. We're used to the those smoky beer joints. Yeah, the pedals. The pedals. Glass. Empty glass. Oh my glass. Cigarette. Are you ready for Tangle? No. <laughs> that tangle. Tangled, great. Let's <laughs> redirect. Yeah, redirect. Yeah, redirect. Uh, <laughs> okay, I, I had a question uh, earlier that I like. Yeah, we got well, way well, off topic. Yeah, on. let's we'll, we'll wrap it up. We, 
let's end it up. Okay, so like we were talking about consultations and like everything specific to the person, obviously. Yeah. So um, if I come to you and say, "Hey, I have a barbell. I have all these weights. I have this. You can pro, and I I want to just build muscle. I want to mm. get strong. You can program for that. Or mm. I come to you. I've never worked out a day in my life. I was not an athlete. I don't have anything in my house besides two bean cans that I can curl. Like that's that. that's the the, we'll the scale that you can go on, right? Like yeah. you can go like CrossFitter to never working out before. Like literally, so you can go to a, a CrossFitter that's about to go into competition because they've been CrossFitting for their entire life. But, so or, it's anybody on, on 40, any spectrum, any scale. Right? Well, I just had one sign up who's pregnant. That's awesome. You know, so now you have, you know, that's where it's like, you know, that's where it's going to take a team of coaches that help, you know, like, because yeah. you're doing very personalized stuff, and, but you need people with an experience. You need a team that you can discuss all this with that you're guiding people in the right direction. You know, I'm not a woman and I haven't been pregnant. And so I don't know anything that really consists of that really, mm. but I have a network where I can find the answer. Nice. Yeah. You know, and so that's what it's about because that's a lifestyle that I can't relate to, you know, so you have to understand. Yeah. What Except, we can do, so we can make a difference. Because at the end of the day, if it, it, it'll speak for itself, people's yeah. performance speaks for themselves. Correct. When people yeah. hit their uh, goals, they're going to tell everyone in the world about what they just did because yeah. they hit the goal. They, I mean, that's something they're that they're going to say. Who helped? Yeah, I mean, yeah, they can, but yeah, they're going to talk about it. They're going to be proud. Yeah, that's, we need a, that's proud a, people. That's a huge value add. I mean, that's yeah. the whole value add is you get your, I guess. You're involved. Yeah. Because also. But at the end of the day, like, that's, I feel like that's not even why you do it. Like, you just do it for that person to feel better about themselves. Like, whether you get recognition or not, it's not what it's about. That's what you want. Right. You know, know, because I can't train everyone. Correct. You know, I truly can. You know, I'm 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 giving an absolute handful of people, and there's a reason why I'm doing it, or there's a reason why they come into my life at the time that I accept them, whether it be military. You have seasons of people. Seasons of people. And, like, you know, it's like I can't. You know, I don't know, and but I want to help a lot. I want to help a billion people, and that's something oh, yeah. that I've just always said. You know, I've had that on as my personal mission for a long time. That's, that's been my and, passion. And, always and, have, and I don't know how I'll people. be able to help. I don't know. I don't know how many. I don't know how I'll be able to count. But you know, that's something that I know. I'll know when I do it. And whenever I'm able to do this and use my knowledge, my experience, and put it on a platform where I can just help the masses, this is going to help me get there. Yep. So. That is my mood towards it, right? Because yeah. at the end of the day, I can't be with them there in time. They can't might not be able to come to arm sports, but they can still receive the same value. But you yeah, know, there's awesome. a deeper, you know, that's uh, not, that's not going to add up to a billion. No, that's that's you never know. so I'm going to have to do something else. That's the same. Maybe get another facility where I, I have a hybrid program where people can fall online but still go into that, a gym. You yeah. know, there has to be that's the ways. same mentality. That's yeah. the same mentality that Gordon Ryan. Ha- you know who Gordon Ryan is? Uh, I think I've heard of him. I'm He's the like, he like the best jujitsu. It sounds familiar. Yeah. yeah, he just won the. I think he's like forty-eight in zero. Yeah, he's like the goat. Right. But he has um, literally the same mentality. Um, I listened to him on a podcast. Uh, I can't. It might, I don't think it might have been with Joe Rogan. I don't know, but he has the same that um, he does a lot of online content, all jujitsu though, and um, he says the same thing. Like I want to help everybody, and obviously I can't help physically in person every person all the time. Right. So like I and he just released, or maybe you know a couple months ago he released like a he's been doing like full jujitsu courses. You know like. Um, releasing his training videos that he does with his trainer. And he had the same, and he said the same thing that like, I want to help all these people. I, physically you can't yeah. just because and 24 hours in a day, yeah. man, we're all have lives. So right? you're that and but he's, you know, like he drives around in Bugatti and like, he's killing it and happy as fuck. You're so yeah. you're on the right path, bro. <laughs> Do that. Yeah. Gordon, right. Gordon Ryan is probably one of my favorite athletes right now, honestly. So, I mean, and he says saying like, he has the same mentality, so that's the mentality to have. I mean, it's about and he's a fucking killer. I mean, you know, like depending on, you know, I don't know how you know you might be, or you know, but or how what might make you happy, what you might know that makes you happy, and what you choose to do to make sure that you find that happiness. 
I make sure that I help people achieve their goals so I can have my happiness. That's so literally as long as, like my life goal is like I always say, whatever I do, I want to help people. Yeah. Whatever yeah, you, I do in life, I just want to be there to get help pay, other people. And you'll, you don't even have to worry about the money. Because you'll no, get paid for that. It. Yeah, through that. Well, like you get you, paid in abundance, too. Yeah. Just like, One million percent. Because if you start right? focusing on the money, that's when it goes off the fucking... No, it's this, the same. Like, I make art, like music pieces. These podcasts are art. But I never think, like, I'm making this podcast because I'm hoping that it's going to pay me. I'm just yeah. putting it out there. And I feel like if you just put out there what you feel like you like and believe in... You are return. You reap and, what you sow, right? Yeah. Worked for me so far. Well, you know, and that's where, you know, I struggle whenever I find, you know, like individuals with a character of wanting other people to fail or, you know, or something like that where they, where they're talking, you know, where they're talking about themselves and, and are talking about someone else in a way that they don't want to see that because it's taken away from them. I can't relate to that. There's something in there that just literally makes it disgust me. Yeah, oh, I see it, dude. You I know, see, like I in, see it in a mu country music artists. I see it. They're the I worst. I see it in the sports industry all the time oh, as well. You know, it's and, definitely famine mentality. Yeah, and it's just you know, it's it truly is. It, to me, it almost always comes from a lack from lack of talent. You know, I, all, I, honestly, I'm not even that. Just, just. Insecurity, really. Yeah, they I just hate what you It's got. fearing of. I mean, it, there's a, pr a sense of pride, I think, or yeah. a sense of something that that they that they're have it, yeah, they can yeah. Yeah, well, I, I think of it a lot, of like a lot of like in the music scene, like they they want they're in it just for the fame, just for the accolades. So then they get they talk to the people and say, okay, well, if you do this, 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 and that this way, that's your step in, That's how you get you know to CMT. And then they see me like saying whack ass shit, being me, but it has traction. Mm -hmm. And I think that's where it's like that anger comes from. Is they just like I'm doing all the things this A and R guy told me to do. I'm I'm being clean. I'm saying the right things. And this fucking asshole who says nonsense on a stupid podcast is, and that's where it comes from shit like that. You yeah. know, you can't compete with what you can't compare. Yeah. You and know, it's like, a lot of like, uh, it's, it's like all the, all of the culturally known athletes are <coughs> weird. Like, but yeah. at the end of the day, I'm your talent's like, going to uh, like override whatever like, anybody else going to say about if you. you. Like, if you go back to John, your talent's going to shine above like oh, your work. Well, that's why yeah. like you go back yeah. to uh, oh, John Daly, the golf dude. Yeah. You know how many golf players like probably don't smoke, live a healthy lifestyle, and they're talking shit like, "It's not fair. This motherfucker wins every fucking golf tournament and he drinks and smokes." It's that yeah. like, and yeah. he's just a talented dude. And, yeah. and and I him being like the more you're thinking about why is he successful, I'm not. His you you're taking away from yourself. You're wasting, you're, you're wasting, 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 wasting time, time. You could be figuring out why you're not hitting. Yeah. You know? And that's where, you know, that's where it kind of go back to it. You know, attitudes like that don't make it at the highest level. I don't see them. You, I don't, uh, you know, and I don't see them. I don't see them go to the next level. And even if they get there, don't they don't them. last long, mm -hmm. you know, because, you, out, yeah. you know, they, it'll, it, no. it won't in last. The, in the music industry, if they've got a little bit of traction and they keep that attitude, the moment your numbers are lower than the last one, you're done. Yeah. That's what you're going to get. And it's the same, I guess, in sports. Like, you want to act like a dickhead, like you're fucking, you're, you're God. The moment you miss a fucking shot or miss a fucking touchdown, we're, yeah. you know. But if you have that attitude, like, I'm just trying my hardest, I feel like, you know, if sports, the team, or if you're in the band or your fans, they're going to, like, okay, he missed. You know, but yeah. if you're always acting like your shit don't stink when it does stink, you're fucked. Nobody's perfect. And it's, that's yeah, why they don't last right? long. You know, it's and yeah, dude. So like, I'll speak on this. I just had a, one of college athlete come back today, and um, he's a freshman. It was the first time I go play college football, and um, he came back to me and he told me just how hard he worked. And this kid, I know how hard. I know his. You know, he's a workhorse. He's big. He's strong. He's big. He's big to even be at that university. I know his size and his mm -hmm. capability, and but he was working so hard to be a scout team player of the week, 
You know, he just wanted that label. He worked so hard, and he just didn't yeah. get that label. I, I want to get signed. Yeah, to this, and, saying, and, he, and yeah. He, he was wondering why he wanted that attention. He wanted that attention, and he came to me. He's like, I wanted it so bad. That was my goal for the beginning of the year to get that. But kids that were, and I didn't. He didn't miss a workout. Wasn't late to a meeting. Wasn't late to a, you know anything. Um, but there were kids that were late or missed things that got scout team player of the week, you know, and there was a lot of them that did. And he was, it didn't resonate with him why he didn't get it. And all of what I had to say to him was, they know you. So they know how to make you go through even more adversity. Mm -hmm. You know, do they think giving you, you're still going to, you're still working hard. But what I told him you're going to work yourself into a full scholarship. Don't be worried about getting some award. Yeah. You know, like you need to, you don't, you know, it's about the grind in the dark. Or you let know? your frustration and, be motivation. Yeah. Like you can't. Well, and I've heard a lot too from um, like in that situation, like there's a lot of those dudes that like, I want to be this label and they do, they, they don't miss a practice. They don't miss nothing. But that's not everything. And I think a lot of dudes that hold the key, like they give the guys that still have the talent and perform, but they're not like laser focused on this label and I practice every day because that doesn't translate to game time. True. That doesn't and, always And that's why, no, it and, right. and it's good to tell those guys like, and it's good to come from an angle like, dude, you're putting in the work, mm -hmm. but they see like, you, you're giving off energies like you've obviously you kind of you know you come to practice you put in the work you think about it all day but the, it's something about game time energy they they it, that's choke that's energy spark. yeah 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 and it's it that's why Dropping they that's the ball. Why, that's why they pick these dudes that like still perform when they need to perform but they're not as dedicated because that energy translate to like game day are yeah. you going to choke or not and yeah. It's the same with the Navy SEALs. Like, the dudes that show up to Hell Week mm -hmm. th who are, like, swole as fuck, run fucking 250 marathon time, they don't make it. It's like the, yeah. the, the dudes that are, like, skinny you would never expect, like, but they can at the time. Yeah, and it's I almost like, like too much pressure. Yeah. You're putting and, almost too yeah. much pressure on yourself, right? And exactly. Because yeah. yeah. I see musicians... They do YouTube videos. Their YouTube blow up on in, on social media because they can shred like nobody's fucking play, like nobody's fucking business. But then when they get on stage, it's like the lights, the people, they just, it's, you know, yeah. it, it's so, I mean, in that, in that real, real talk sports at that level, it's a performative. Yeah. Like, yeah, for sure. The, at the end of the day, you're performing. Just like I am when I'm on stage. Always. And yeah. it's like, You're always performing. just like any guitar player I know can count on that are better than me. Uh, just like you could go to the gym every day, be huge, have the best fucking reps, best fucking max. But that doesn't always, tran that's the base level work. You need mm -hmm. to have that work. Yeah. But if you're going to get caught up on just end goal, when yeah. it comes, you're going to choke. Like yeah. it's going to, and no, that's a good point. Good point. You know, that's yeah. where it's about managing, you know, the pressure and the, and the you know. And I feel and like it's good to practice or work out. I, just like not with a fucking, I'm working out today because I want to, I want to have scout label or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it's better to say I'm working out today because I want to fucking work out and it's what I need to do for myself to get better. You if know what I mean? If you're not doing yeah. it for yourself, you're going like, to end up giving up. Like when I practice exactly. or play music. You can't music, do it for you. You can't do it for other people. Yeah, I'm not playing. people are going to let you down. Oh, yeah, I'm not playing yeah. practicing like, I'm going to practice so I can get on the Grand Ole Opry next week. I'm practicing yeah. because that's what I want to do. So Yeah, exactly. But yeah. it's important to have goals. And the, the, course, the right? reality of the truth is sometimes the hard reality is there are just some people that can't. Yeah. You, can be the, you can be the most dedicated motherfucker, but at performance time, you just don't have it. And yeah, that's that's the. And the hard, lights are on, man. Yeah, that's you the see hard that. truth. You know, I've seen and I've seen some guys come across me that have been that way very much so. Right, they're not the fastest guys, not the biggest guys. When the lights are on, when that when that pigskin touches their hands, 
It's to turn it's, it on. It's take turn. That's it what on, they want, and that's what they. And yeah, it, it and sells it, better, honestly. Underdog, you know, underdog you know, always sells better. I'm it's sorry. funny you say that because the direct mentality of like one athlete I can almost put that did both. That was literally a lights on. You know, when it was, it had that spark, that star power. He had that, but he still, he did pretty much everything right. Work. He he got he got drafted in the fourth round. That's and it was Edo Smith. You know that was one of yeah, my first guys. Yeah. He was a run out yeah, of Southern Mississippi. He was he was a guy signing autographs for the kids at the end of the game. But he was also now coming being his trainer. I love you, Edo. But he was one of the hardest damn athletes I ever trained in my life because there was one variable that I could not control, and that was his effort. You know he was never going to give me what I wanted on that laser. Just tell me how fast he was. Then he would give me if I gave him a football in his hand. Yeah, and or or even and told him to run, let, or let alone just if a football it were to be in the game, him catch it and run, it wouldn't even compare, you know. And so like that was a hard variable to try to manage him through a process to get him drafted, yeah. but it was off those character points is why he did, you and know that's what, what I mean? Sells and yeah. the, it's a money and a lot of the artists the same way they you know like they're a motherfucker to work with in the studio, you know they're a motherfucker to work with, but it's just they get on stage and. You know, Prince was together. Prince was notorious as a fucking asshole. Like <laughs> ha people hated working with the Prince, but it's like that same energy. Like you can't fucking deny when everyone's watching, they turn it on. Yeah, right. And I have. I don't want to compare myself to them, but a lot of that energy I have, I feel yeah, like, and I, I strive for that. Like, and but it's not even I strive for it. It's like, again, to go back to the point, like. When I play shows now and they're not like packed, I'm visibly like not as excited. Mm. And people take that as like, oh, are you too good? And I'm not. Like I'll play for anybody. Just almost it's up, just yeah. It's for some reason like like the most packed shows are the ones that I do the best. Like, yeah. like yeah. the, the best solos. It's just an energy transfer. Yeah, One million percent. Absolutely. Like yeah. I need the crowd. And when they're there, it's like But on the other end of that, like if you're not going to do it behind closed doors when nobody's watching, like then what's the point of doing it on sure. a stage? Like not yeah, like yeah. talking like, to you, uh, just like in general. Like we used to say this about our girls. Like if you're going to cheat in front of my face, like on reps, you're only cheating yourself. Like, right. you know, if one day when you don't have me telling you what to do, you're not going to do the work because you didn't do it when I was staring yeah, so at you. So basically, like, Sid was what you're telling me. If you don't come and attack those small shows with two people watching like you do with the big show, then whenever you get your bigger show at like Red Wolf or Red Rock, then maybe it fucking shits the bed. You know, yeah, you don't, you don't yeah, know. Yeah, exactly. You know, that's, you, that's why Give it all on those two people wanna, shows. I don't think so because it it's something in me. It's the more people, the, the more... more but I mean that's because that's I, human nature. Yeah, like because even the small shows, I'm not like sitting there going, I'm just not gonna play as great as I do if there was a thousand people. It's no, just, I know. The, like it's just something about. But you got to put the in the crap. same effort because, yeah, like I you said, like up, it's, I play the shows. Yeah. It, yeah, but you got to play them like you would <laughs> if you were playing packed out Red Rocks or you're playing the I, I just, just hole in the wall. Yeah. It is an attitude, an attitude, but I just don't agree. Everybody says that. I just don't well, agree with it. It doesn't always it just mean never it's going to be the, yeah. But I mean, it's but, but here's, here's one thing that I can tell you is that hard work always happens and you never know when it'll pay off, but it will. And hard work, I, I think seeing as, well, as an athlete sense, hard work I, usually outdoes talent. I think that, I think that actually I can promise you it does. Even but, in, this is facts in in coaching, and it doesn't yeah. matter. And whenever you have I think two, it's both. When you get two athletes at the high level, this kid can be the most athletic individual yeah. ever. But if this guy wants it more, he's gonna win. Yeah, if, uh, yeah, hundred well, percent all the time. So, yeah, yeah, like, you, when, yeah. You, yeah. When yeah. I open up for bands, and there's always this like flex. Do you, you, you feel like you, you thrive? You like, really want this more than me? Luke and yeah, but we have great. Op yeah, I know. Yeah. I just think she it shows. Go ahead. Sorry. No, go. Go ahead. No, <laughs> well, that's just that's why I tell, like, if it's a small show and people are like, oh, do that, you know, who, especially if they saw me at a pack show, like, do that thing you did there. I'm like, I just can't, but bring your friends to the next one. Yeah. And, you and know, they're more likely yeah, it'll it's happen. Like, yeah. Yeah. And that's but fair. Even, that's fair. Yeah, I can't. I'm not gonna. I can't jump. You can't up show and, all your cards every time, too, either. Yeah. Right? It's, it's all just about, cheap. 
It's you, cheap. You're right. I agree. It's cheap. I and, agree. And it has nothing to do with my ego. It's just I need the people. That's why I need. Yeah. I need. I love when people come to my show. That's why, because the more and it, I'm not. I'm even saying twenty people. I. I. Yeah. A big motto but, of mine is one person is like. The the blur between one and a hundred people or one and fifty people, it's pretty much the same. Yep. And the blur between a hundred and a thousand people crowd, there's not much of a difference. And a thousand people up, it, it's really not much. It's just a lot of people. Yeah. But that line between zero and one it makes all the difference. Yeah. Because yeah. I played plenty of shows where the where there's at least one dude there, and I, it's like okay. I'm gonna play for you, but when yeah. there's no one there, that's when it's like yeah, it's tough. Well, I, don't, I don't think you have that problem. That much no, time. I, I, I used to. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, it's it's that's why I tell musicians it's so important. You need to stop posting shit thinking you're gonna go viral. Like you are fan by fan. Yeah, one and I I do that. Like I try to get everyone that supports me meet them on a one by one because. That one is the difference between maybe you having zero. Yeah. Like I've drove to Dallas, only had one person show up. Go six hours to the show, only literally one motherfucker shows up. But at least you're not just playing to nobody. That's yeah. when it's like, wow. Yeah. So that's true. I, I I respect that. But I mean, yeah, it's a testament to you and just where you yeah dude, started you gotta, and how you are and how you are you now. Gotta, too. That's incredible. You gotta. I mean, you gotta. So you gotta just fucking grind and I just tell to, the people that support you and just grind hey Tanner I'm getting really weak I need to eat some food yeah, no, I, I already eat. thought about that there's no doubt yeah. I'm, I'm definitely I'm squatting some. tomorrow yeah. and I need, I need some to, fuel uh, I need to take a shot I'm <laughs> going to the <laughs> bar unless I'm coming not me <laughs> we're I'm about to carve up so I can squat no, tomorrow no I said we were going to stop like 30 minutes ago we just started talking um, do you have anything else you want to say anything man I feel like we covered I mean I have nothing how can yeah. we um the viewer, the listener, reach out and find you and personally sign up. Personally or on whatever, or either one. You want to find me personally? You can come to you know any show that Dalton you know, <laughs> absolutely be playing at. Or, I'm going to be sitting or, right next to. We're going to be Coast having the yeah. time yeah. of our lives. Jason Kreger in the Gulf Coast. Thank like, you, bro. Especially if you're yeah. a beautiful woman with lots of money. <laughs> hey, <laughs> AP is hair. my concert boyfriend. <laughs> I don't yeah. share him. Sure. Until he finds a fucking millionaire. No, I support it. Like, no, support I mean, it. come to dance. Come to dance. But yeah. if you want to see me, that's where I'll be. But uh, you can follow me at, you know, on Arm Sports or Arm Coaching, since that's really I'm active now, right now as we go into, you know, yes. 2023. COVID's over. Yeah, absolutely. So, COVID yeah. has been over. Let's get better then. So I can reach out to you on Arms, uh, yeah, Arm Coaching. Arm Coaching, okay. Austin Potter 34, you know, okay. Arm Sports Medicine, Arm Sports, Arm Sports Performance. It's, the whole just arm sports awesome come by there see yeah. the great facility um y'all yeah. follow uh earl shreds tiktok uh instagram youtube please y'all follow the youtube don't forget i post the entire i post 15 minute clips of the podcast and i also post the entire video podcast on youtube the youtube youtube channel is earl shreds um y'all don't forget the merch store the fall collection is up i've got some awesome sweatpants I don't know, maybe you can see them in the GoPro shot. These are for sale, people like these. Uh, the chainsaw jacket, the chainsaw shirt is up. Um, I'm gonna show, let's do, what was it, what did we say? Oh, Total failure. if you listen this, <laughs> yeah. Oh, that is even better. If you listen this far and you want a piece of merch under $50, I'll give you 25% off code name Till Failure. Just DM me, code name Till Failure, what you want. And I'll make it happen. I promise. I, like I awesome. need to plug myself. Yeah, that's awesome. Do I, do I get to plug me? Yeah. What do you got? Yeah, I don't give a fuck. I don't get to plug my socials. You sure do. Yeah. I've yeah, never have. Them. I mean, I mean like, you need to. But I'm not like make not, yourself like chasing clout. Or whatever, I mean, you know? no, we're not either. Not, not no, throwing, I'm not either. I'm just trying to no, sell I mean, some like, t-shirts. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. Weird, <laughs> but I'm not that person that's like, uh, yeah, follow, follow me. Follow her. I, her I name is it yeah. Sydney Twelve. Just follow the movement. I really, <laughs> if you don't want to fight, if you want to find. I, mean, I was, I was just being funny. Yeah. I really don't care if people follow me or not. I post the videos so I can go back. Trust me. After listening and watching all these podcasts, people are going to be more interested in just it. So. So, you know, if you they want to find you, then you can tell them where. If not, 
keep your shit private and they can't find I you. Saw always, <laughs> he always says, follow me on this, this, this. I'm like, follow me on LinkedIn. Yeah, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, that's the real shit, right? See, <laughs> see, see who I endorse. See yeah. who endorsed me. Yeah. Right? Actually, don't follow me on LinkedIn. Follow no. me on LinkedIn. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, follow, follow Bill Gates. Follow I do have me. all the socials though. I have Facebook, Twitter, yeah, Insta, you're, you, TikTok. You're, you literally are in the intro of this podcast. You're famous whether you like it or not. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it, it, it's Sydney, but y'all thirsty motherfuckers, she is my girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, you, yeah, if you hadn't let that known already, you should no, have. I don't think I have, honestly. Yeah, we're dating. Just FY fucking I. Are we? Yeah, oh. yeah, we are. I don't know. Yeah, I have. We haven't said it. Is, you're here is for that this official? Moment. Like, really? You actually called her your girlfriend? Yeah. You accepted it? Sydney Shreds. Holy shit. <laughs> Sydney Shreds. Whoa. Yeah. My now, mind's blown. Now y'all know. The whole so world. My whole world blown. just got like turned upside down. Yeah. All right, well. <laughs> wow. I love wow. it. Thank you guys for even having me. This yeah, absolutely. Awesome, yeah. Dude, yeah, always. Please come back. For sure, man. Yeah. We gotta, yeah. yeah let's go back let's to work. Get, um, come back tomorrow. I'll come back with an athlete. That's what I told DP. I'll come back with one of my clients. And Ooh. then yeah. and we can, they can chop it up. Uh, dude, Kate should come with you, too. Yeah, we can have Kate as well. Oh, yeah. that would be a that that would be on athlete. sports, right? Yeah, yeah. That would a, a be green bray on one side and then a professional yeah. athlete oh on the other. Oh my god, dude, talk I would, about I would, podcast. I would I would melt. Yeah, that would be cool. <laughs> I would melt. They they Please. would both make me nervous Please. on the podcast <laughs> and all of them together, all of us together just make me nervous. <laughs> I'll sit outside and watch the window. It was a sunny day in Volusia. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> awesome. Well, the sun this is was exciting. <laughs> I'm excited to see your online platform just blow up. For like, sure, man. Thank you. What did uh, y'all think of the mics? This is not, they sound great. These mics are awesome. Dude, I feel pro like professional. Yeah, I feel like I'm singing into it. I, this will probably be swear. I can't wait until I, like my voice does get better. I'm going to come back with know, a guitar and just fuck around in this thing. To see if I can sound like Mason. You can do a song. Yeah. That way I can start covering Gulf Coast Drifter songs <laughs> at karaoke yes. bars and shit. Please, <laughs> I, yes. I swear I will. We need to get that. Like, I need a karaoke stuff. I like. I need to go to. Yes. I'll do eight points. Dude, can you imagine it Austin? Ain't easy. Yeah. <laughs> karaoke GCD. Yes. Oh please. my god. Made, I'll do it with you. Hey, I'll go to Montana's. We need to make it work. Hey, yes, I was at LaBelle. I was at LaBelle's one time, and some the DJ doing karaoke says somebody requested Hurricane. I was like, damn, they got the karaoke her version of hurricane and they just made me sing over the real track it was the oh gcd my. hurricane was it really they <laughs> yeah. had the real one i just sang over mason's voice <laughs> oh my god i, I know we video. love that yeah dude. what was it i what? sent it to him DJ, <laughs> that's great yeah dj slut or something is your name no. i don't remember there you go find it <laughs> y'all check out shout out labellos i love y'all um <laughs> Awesome. Yeah, the EarlShreds.com, uh, Earl Shreds, Shopify, uh, all the things. I love you so much, and be on the lookout. Uh, the podcast before this one was awesome. There was a performance, so y'all be on the lookout for this one and more. I love you. Rock on and we'll peace out. Peace out. Bye. <laughs> awesome, <laughs> dude. It's hurting. Great podcast. It did. Oh, great. It's going to go a little off track. It is, but that's why, that's why I'm here to bring it back.